Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're all doing well. It's go time. Let's get this party started and uh, have some fun. So FFA matches. Let me go ahead and make an announcement saying that we are live because I am terrible at my job. Okay, so just give me one second. And yeah, it's just going to be a standard kind of FFA showdown. Tomorrow we might stream Age of Empires again. It is our glorious Gunhound's birthday tomorrow. So if he wants to, depending on his schedule with his family and whatnot, we might do another Age stream tomorrow to play some games with him. So that is going to be the plan in here. All right. And that should be good. Yes, yes. And we have done it. All right. Hey, welcome, welcome. Yes, good times for all. Multiplayer, custom matches, create game. Who do we want to play tonight? Let's play somebody we don't normally play. Should have been a 2v2 special for Valentine's. Yeah, that's right. We could do that too, but I think, uh, I think you know, we can develop romances as we go forward here. So turn, FFA, official. We'll put that to get rid of the uh, bait lobbies. And uh, we'll do that. Allow observers and uh, reveal on elimination in case... You know, we do last a long time. Oh man, this is a stacked lobby. We've got a bunch of Conqueror level players in here. So, um, Prime definitely going for the dub with Japan. Do we play Delhi and just get karate chopped by better armies? Ooh, that could be fun. Oh, what? You know what? Let's, uh, do we want to make everybody go random? Let me see if we want to do that. So, I'm going to put it to a poll real quick. Although, no, we won't do that for the first game. Let's let people play what they want. All right, so Jushi's French, Joan of Arc. And um, we could play we could play some peaceful Joan. That could always be fun. Let's do a little bit of Mongol action, you know, just in case. Let's get this lobby is very high level, so um, if we're the Mongols, we could at least pack up and run if things go bad. <laughs> go look, have fun. All right, screenshotting, and uh, yep, looks like everybody's all set, and let's have some fun. So yeah, it's gonna be hard to kill us, ideally. We're going to be fleeing into people's empires and uh, all that sort of good stuff. Arena says it's your birthday if you want to. Um, yeah, sounds good. We'll do it after this game. So next game, I'll team up with Arena Emperor on their birthday, and uh, we'll do uh, we'll do a match. We'll do a team match. It'll be fun. <laughs> yes, good. No bait lobby this time. I know there wasn't. So we're going to be on Mongols. Quill and Ayubids. Interesting. Quill, a uh, very good player. Might be able to make the Ayubids work well. Uh, I don't think they're too strong, honestly, in uh, FFA, but, you know. He's so good that he can make them work, right? And then we got Prime on Japanese, Dark Age Rush on Byzantines, Whisper on Rus. I, I believe Whisper is like really high level too. Um, Dagrol on English, Mr. Mu on English, and Jordan on the Delhi Sultanate. So we're just going to try and be a gremlin, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fireball. It, we, don't worry. We took care of everything all day. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's Arena's birthday today, apparently, and Gunhound's birthday tomorrow. So we'll, uh, we'll, do, some, we'll do some Team FFA after this. All right, all right. It's go time, baby. Thank you guys for joining. We have loaded in, and uh, we're not the last one to load in. Jordan is going to be claiming that title. I bids aren't good in FFA, but they're Quill's best sieve. So it's, yeah, yeah. Well, and, you know, if Quill can secure an early enough advantage with I bids because of how good he is with them, like let's say in the early game he's able to karate chop somebody because he's so proficient with them and then secure, you know, an epic trade route uh, or a bunch of relics from, their, from the plunder, then yeah, like that makes it pretty decent, right? That's how FFAs kind of balance out in some ways. For sure, the strongest sieve in this match is probably going to be the Japanese and, and then maybe the Mongols as well. Um, England can be very strong too. The Mongols are a great FFA sieve because of their survivability and um, you know some of the other tricks they can do. And pillaging is also quite good for Mongols. Destroying buildings of fallen empires gives you a ton of resources. Uh, I'm not very good at Mongols. Uh, you know, I'm learning them. I'm learning them. That's, it's one sieve I haven't put a ton of reps in on. I've played most other sieves quite a bit, but Mongols I have not. Yes, Possum, yes. It is indeed. It's Nanny's birthday too. What are you guys, twins? Yeah? Is that what's going down here? Was it a Nanny's birthday like two days ago or something? Or you guys have the same birthday? No. If you guys, if you and if, uh, yeah, yeah, we can, we can figure it out. With this lobby, I'm suddenly glad I didn't get into it. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be some punishment. I mean, I could just die quickly. Although I think I'll survive because I'm Mongol. So at the very least, we'll... We can retreat into the hills and mountains and, you know, it's a mega random map. So a lot of it will depend on the map and, uh, you know, if there's water nearby and all that sort of good stuff. All right. So let's get the little old town center and um, we can head up here, I suppose. That's going to be fine. And then go here and then get you bills heading up this way. And we'll take our sheep over here and uh, get ready to party. So we can just have them go start working on the berry bushes. 
and they go look around. So we're kind of in a corner, but the great thing about Mongols is we don't really care, to be frank. We don't care at all. Like, wherever we spawn, um, we're going to be A-OK -okay and we're going to be happy. So I think we have water near us, so let's get those guys all set up. And we have the gear there, too, so... Okay, so we immediately discover water with deep sea fishing. So, yeah, this is a good start for us. We have the little berry bushes to kind of keep us sustained. We have the lumber immediately, which is outstanding. And let's go see who's around us. Dandy, how you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. All right. Okay, so four on food should be enough. And then we can go all in on wood from there. That's what she said. Do a little signal arrow, see what we can find. And with fishing, we don't need to worry as much about, like, finding sheep. Not going to be a huge deal, so... Yeah, it's a good spawn for the Mongols, for sure. Um, okay, is there more water down here? Is there like a river of some sort? I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright, so he's going to come set up shop. It looks like there is like a private reliquary. Ooh, that might actually be a little bit safer. Let's come down here. No, we'll go up. We'll do both. Why not? We'll do both. Okay. So it's not an island map, but it seems like there. it's a map that has like a huge kind of peninsula in it. Mongols are so good in FFA. I'm just poor Byzantines. Byzantines are actually really good. <coughs> Excuse me. I think in FFA. Um, you know, I've had some games with Byzantines, like, I, I where I played against, you know, conquer-level Japanese players and just had one-on-one -on -one duels. And um, I find that my armies were often coming out ahead in Imperial Age. Um, it depends, you know, on the bank of both players and whatnot, but typically it can do pretty well, so... And I, you know, I have, I'm already seeing some nice hills, so I can, like, pack up my shit and go run to the hills. Which is, um, which is great for us. Alright, so let's get some fishing boats going out there. And then we can start switching on to gold a little bit. We'll be good. T-Rex! Singles Appreciation Day. <laughs> Members appreciate the stream. Thank you, man. I got you. I guess we're going to be your uh, we're gonna be your date for tonight, man. We got, I got you covered. Thank you, man. I really pre appreciate that, T-Rex. That's, that's very kind of you. And again, I really hope you're some you know financial tyrant. I always feel bad when people donate that much. Um, nice corner here. Nice corner. And um, we haven't discovered anybody yet. There's probably going to be someone like right here, would be my guess, based on the nature of the beast. All right, cool. The time of friendship. I actually thought about playing like pacifist tonight, but it's just so it goes against every fiber of my being, you know, to sit and not attack. Although, I mean, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll be a little bit more friendly tonight than we usually are. But, you know, even though I'm hostile and aggressive in most games, like it doesn't always win it for me. Like sometimes I get wrecked when I get aggressive on people. You know, it can uh, it can come back to bite you. Whereas if you're more passive, sometimes people won't want to take the risk because the attacker always has the disadvantage, right? So, um, so yeah, we'll see. So we got Jordan down here. He's going to be on Delhi. Delhi can do some good feudal aggression for sure. Castle Age timings aren't bad either. Okay, relics. We got triple relic in the bottom. I mean, relic securing is important, but it's not going to be the uh, most important thing for us. All right, so let's take these sheep back to the base, and then the Khan is going to go explore a little bit further. We'll use the signal arrow. We see Jordan on water here. So we did discover water, which is uh, good for him, for sure. And let's put a fishing node down there, too. I think that's going to be a nice little alcove, which with we can work. All right, so sheep are going to get dropped off here. Let's go up this way. Um, let's actually go see who's up here. Yeah, Mongols are just so comfortable in FFA. <clears throat> Your ability to relocate is just nuts. Alright, so the food economy is growing, gold is growing, everything's pretty stable. Wants to be my Valentine, says Jordan. Yeah, man. Mongols are really fun. I think I think like if you want to have like a good solid chance of being a contender in FFA games, they're so solid to take. Because even if I get steamrolled by somebody early, I can just pack up and run to some random corner and like they're usually not gonna chase you across the entire map, right? And trade is obviously very good, so we're going to go for that. Okay, I'm not going to kill Jordan's scout here. Going to be going to be a homie for now. Probably could have gotten a pretty straightforward kill there. All right, so three, four in gold is more than enough. That's actually a little bit too much. So we'll produce one here, and then we'll produce one here too. Uh, looks like we're being scouted by Dark Age Rush, who's playing the Byzantines. And yeah, man, it's good. Oh, that's right, the Uvu. Goddamn, dude. I was like, I even was saying before the lobby, I was like, I'm not going to forget the Uvu this time. It's my signature play with Mongols, and to be fair, I've won my last couple FFAs with Mongols as well. So, you know, I think it's been a pretty consistent little uh, style here, so. There we are. All right. <clears throat> uh, sure, man. All right. I'll be a Valentine's Day homie and not aggro on you, but, uh, you know, we can't say that goes the entire game, right? Okay, back up to the tree line here. <laughs> and it says no turn, Valentine. Probably good. Smoking out wife in chat. Hell yeah. All right, so we got the Uvu going. It's okay. We were playing. We were playing. Uh, we were playing water mongols. We we were investing our wood. It was a tactical play. We were investing our wood elsewhere. All right. 
You guys do this, and then we can do the silver tree is probably going to be the play. Okay, I'll do this, and let's just do it. doesn't. What I love about Mongols, it doesn't even matter where I build my landmarks, right? Just kind of do it. You can breathe now. I'm glad, Andy. I'm glad you're you're surviving here. And if I can secure tentative peace with the Byzantines, um, you know, I can then just go all in on somebody else. So it's it's a it's a it's a win-win situation. All right. So what we're gonna do now is pull you guys. We're gonna go hard on the wood here, and we're gonna just go like mass TC. Pull you guys in. Go there. Grab a couple more sheep. So we found yellow. That's going to be Quill. So Quill will probably come down and kill um, Dark Age Rush. And um, and then we're going to uh, have to worry about that eventually. But we'll see. All right, team. You're waiting for this. You're waiting for the suffering. Hell yeah. So we're going to go multi-TC. Um, it's very fun to go like triple TC on Mongols and just get like a huge booming castle economy. That's going to be enough boats for now. I don't think we need to build too many more. We got eight on food. So the fishing will handle our uh, food supply. All right, any upgrades? We can get the wheelbarrow. It's always a good one to get. Um, we see Prime over here on the Japanese. So Prime is probably up in this corner. We're going to go scout and see what's cracking, though. We're going to see what's going on in the neighborhood. Yes. No one in this game can spell Valentine's. That's also true. Okay, so we see Prime here. Very scary. Japan, I think, one of the strongest f offensives in the game. I mean, Japan and Ottomans probably have the best Imperial armies in the game, I think. I would wager. Very, very good imp armies. Like the imp in our thumbnail. We got Tyrion Lannister. Okay, wheelbarrow's going to be popping off here soon. We got plenty of fishing. Uh, many people are still in feudal. Jordan is actually still in feudal, so that it's interesting. Maybe he's fishing too. <laughs> when we get a house, what is it? What is Anna saying? Let's see. Yeah, some boy. Come. Uh, when are you going to come buy that? Okay. Got it. Yeah, once we once we get a house, we're gonna get all sorts of creatures. Anna and I will have a glorious uh, pig, and yeah, it'll be fun, man. Having a pet pig would be really cool. The wife has spoken; she's the authority here, guys. All right, so the Uvu is popping off. Um, am I gonna get early aggressed? I mean, it could happen for sure. Let's go ahead and kind of look around here a little bit. We got 26 on wood. That's pretty fat right now. Jordan just aged up. I doubt there's gonna be early aggression, but. The thing is, I could always just run. If I get early aggressed, you know, I can just I can just run away, which is great. And sure, I might be behind, but at the end of the day, I think it's going to work out great. All right, so let's set you up. We see Delhi. Um, nothing crazy. Delhi's just going to grab relics, so that's what's going to be happening with old Delhi, right? Okay, looking good. Khan's going to keep scouting down here. So we got the second Mongol TC coming out, and we're going to keep on the wood. Build one of those to be a little bit more efficient here. No gold villagers right now because we're going in extremely greedy triple TC build. So um, I'm, I'm all in on wood at the moment just to try and get it. Because Mongols, um, they don't need stone, obviously, to build their town center. So uh, I'm not seeing any inclination of aggression. It definitely looks like Fast Castle, which is which is pretty strong for sure. And then we can, we're going to have enough food because of the fishing boats, which is great. I mean, we're going to just switch all these guys to, um, to gold after this. I think two is going to be fine for now. We'll keep 18. On there and uh, we'll start double producing and we can eventually get a third TC <clears throat> which will go down I'm not gonna try and trade yet I don't want people to use that against me politically um, so yeah I'm gonna be a little bit cautious here let's build the tower just in case and call it a day the ram must be named Grand oh that's such a good idea Grand Phil oh that's right it has to be named Philip yeah you gotta have a that's right okay <laughs> we'll, we'll get in a second one a second ram and name it Grand Yes, I do like that a lot. I think that's really good. Philip is obviously great too. This is a triple TC. It is forbidden, but I can scatter my TCs to the corner of the lands, and um, you know we can we can go from there. <clears throat> I am actually going to be peaceful with the Byzantines. We'll see. It'd be really funny if they took advantage of me being peaceful and they just like attacked me all out. That would be actually very hilarious, but um, it'd be unfortunate. But let's get the lumberjack upgrade. Okay, and the TCs are still going like champs. And uh, let's head out this way and go scout that corner. Go see who's over there. And now we can get another one of you guys. Do this and set up another TC. All right, cool. So, yeah, quill has got Castle Age. He's probably about to steamroll somebody here. Or he's going to get all the relics and just be, you know, an absolute tyrant. So now we need to get military infrastructure and just try and age up. Um, that's that's the game plan here. So put a couple on gold. Um, for Castle Age, we're probably going to go step read out because it gives you a lot of extra gold over the course of a long game. So I think that's going to be the play. Okay, we see blue over here. Blue is going to be Dagerall. Maybe he's in the corner here. We're not sure. We could lose the con, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, we need to get the uh, packed up building speed, so let's get that. Oh, hello. Okay. We're going to use the movement speed arrow. 
So we got the English and the Byzantines. Uh, looks like they're going to be aggroing on one another pretty well. Get a couple of you guys on berry bushes, and now we can uh, go Tripleville. And yeah, we're just going to age up here in a second. Should be fine. Okay. And I was being honest. I'm not going to attack the Byzantines unless they attack me. I mean, late game, sure, all bets are off, but early game, I'm not going to. I'm not going to aggress on them. All right. So let's go ahead and get the step read out here. Cool. So you guys do that and that, and outstanding. So just keep doing this, and then we can get a bunch of stables. So let's get a bunch of stables here. So one, two, three. Jordan has gotten Castle Age. We shouldn't be too far behind Jordan, and honestly, I feel like he's probably on one TC. So we should be reasonably ahead in terms of eco. The one advantage he'll have is going to be relics, obviously. But um, yeah, aside from that, I think we're going to be cackling pretty hard. All right, so yeah. I like to go stables a lot with these guys. So let's go ahead and get the uh, blacksmith here. So let's pop that down back here. That's going to be finishing. And then we're ready to get the Mongolian War Machine uh, popping off. Yeah, Prime is uh, aged up here. So let's get a little bit more fishing. And when you guys do this and this, we can take that. And um, uh, where do we want to go next? We can just have it kind of go a little bit further up into the tree line here. It's cash in time. It's go time, baby. So let's go ahead and get the... Do we want to get the... Yeah, we'll get the standard upgrades for now. And uh, cool. So we're about to get like a ton, a ton of gold. Like an absolute ton. Uh, why don't people make military buildings? It's 10 minutes in. Because this is an FFA game. So it's a little bit different than your standard game. In a 1v1 game, you know, there's going to be more early skirmishing and that type of thing. But in FFA, there's a lot of, like, going all in on somebody early is a very, very aggressive thing to do. It's very dangerous. Um, all right, so we want to get that first. And get the Akashics upgraded. Cool. And, uh, yeah, the Akashic Legion will be prepared. Am I being attacked in my docks? It looks like somebody's actually attacked me. That's pretty funny. So we might need to get some of you guys. Um, we're going to need to amp up our food game also. So let's do this. And um, you guys can go work on the sheep. And we'll get the food gathering as well. Yep, we'll just get all the upgrades. All right. So he's still trolling my, my fishing boat there, which is kind of funny. Who's that, Whisper? How evil are you? All right. So we're going to get a cash out. I, I don't really care about the relics. Because the relics are something that we can ideally take in conquest. You know, like when, we, when we're able to take somebody down, we can just, you know... Laugh all the way to the bank. So let's get the first cache coming up there. And we can get a couple more fishing boats in here. And then get the upgrade as well. And um, let's get another archery range. And that should give us the tools we need to make a pretty good army here. So, oh shit, Whisper died. Okay, so it looks like somebody is already... Wow, I was like... Okay, so somebody's already down. Wasn't expecting... Oh, I'll, I usually... I'll do my best to read stuff. Sometimes in the heat of action, I'm not able to read as well. But, um, you know. We'll get some mango dye just because it's very much in flavor. You know, I'll usually switch off that as the, the game progresses and whatnot. But yeah, we will. Um, we'll get a couple more stables here and get you as well. Cool. So that's going to be adequate military production for now. And then, of course, we're going to need to get some siege engineering. So we'll mix in some crossbows and whatnot. So yeah, we're probably actually just going to go crossbow and Keshik. I think that's a pretty good army comp. And then we can get a siege workshop too. All right. So how are we looking on upgrades? Yep. Let's get a little bit of this. And we see Yellow's Big Navy. That's going to be Quill. Quill could very, very easily come after me. Do we see a Ghost Rider? Look, there's a Scout riding from the days of old. Yeah, look at him there. Okay, so we're just going to get some, like, Towers for Vision. Set up a couple of those. Um, we can set up another one over here. And somebody's getting 2v1, Mr. Moo. So he's not happy about that. I don't know why it's sending all my bills down here. Okay, we got 36 on food now. Quill says he didn't know. What a villain, dude. Did we just go Imp here? We have triple TC in a booming economy. Do we just go Imperial and just like have a fat steamroll? Okay, so we got a tower there, a tower there. Let's set up another tower over here. And then we want to get a tower down here too. Just kind of like slap them all over the map and see what we can get our, you know, our hands on. And uh, yeah, fishing, looking good. And yeah, we could we could definitely just go like fast Imperial. It's, it's very much on the table, but we want to get all the eco upgrades as well that are available. And we're going to save our stone for fancier things. The Avu here is still going. I need to pay better attention to when that's going down. Uh, I'm not sure, Dandy. That's more a question for Anna. She would be able to answer that a little bit better. All right, let's get the, the ham network. Cool and Prime. Oh my god, he's getting 2v1 by Cool and Prime. That's not fun. All right. Kashik Charge. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so we're getting in on those sheep. Next age is going to be upon us soon. We have our nice little cozy fishing fleet here. And let's get the fishing upgrade and then throw out a couple more boats. Our fishing could be karate chopped at like any time. Probably going to go white stupa. Let's go ahead and get a spring alt tower here. And uh, we'll just get another one down there. So we're just set, we're just like setting the ground uh, foundation for potential war, right? So that's going to be uh, the plan here. 
All right, so for you, we can go up here and just kind of use that as a scouting tool. Yeah, very, very chill build up this game. All right, let's turn in. And do we have enough food? Not quite, but now we do. Let's get the white stupa. Thankfully, you can move that thing. And there it is. Great. So we're going to go imp pretty quickly here. Triple TC, straight to imp. I mean, it's a it's a pretty greedy kind of play style for sure, but I think it's going to pay off. It'll pay some old dividends. All right, so we've been walled here. or Yeah, so walls, and it looks like he's walling here. So let's set up another tower there, and we'll set up a tower there. So we're just trying to keep vision. I'm not looking to be... Um, as long as that guy, yeah, he's just trying to get around to build walls. So we're not going to, like, aggro this player and try and make enemies at this point. Um, we can soon get cannon towers and Pax Mongolica, which is going to be really good. Should be a pirate in the water. Yes, I don't want to draw the ire of players outside of my sphere of influence, though. So at this point, I'm just kind of taking it a little bit easy um, and just resting the old hands until the fighting really, really escalates. All right, let's get some spears. You're going to want some spearmen mixed into your armies. Like, Keshik spam is good and all, but... It, um, you know, it can fall off a little bit. Okay, let's go up here, do this. Then you guys go up here and here, and we'll get a bunch of you workers um, who are clearly idle to go jump on that. And soon we're going to need to set up pastures, maybe, I'm thinking. Yeah, so we'll set up some pasture eco here, and those can just go um, right here is fine. And now we need to move you up, have you go to that tree line. And now we can just get elite Keshiks as soon as we get some dough. So let's go up there, get the food gathering. Looking great. We have our tower network, so we can kind of see what's cracking. Okay, so they've moved on to that tree line. So once we get the elite Keshix is when it's going to be Gotham's Reckoning. So let's sell some food, get the elite Keshix, and um, we're just going to spam out a million of those and get biology quickly, and then we should be very, very tyrannical. And with this much on gold, it's going to be very quickly. Yeah, the improved wheelbarrow isn't bad by any stretch. It ain't bad. Um, all right, so let's get that upgrade. And the Uvu has run out of steam, so now we need to make a new one. So you see, I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning the Mongol ways. Our build is very greedy, but once the war machine gets going, oh my god, we're gonna be we're gonna be very very scary. So um, that one's still being built, so we can get a cannon tower here. Um, looks like he's got some elephants, so we can get some hand cannoneers mixed in there, and also some spears and whatnot. Um, spears, let's start upgrading them. Our gold per minute is decent. I think we should be able to put some hurt on the deli shop, and um, let's build all these out. I don't know why they didn't build. Very haggard, and I think we're probably good on bills for now too. Yeah, I think we're probably okay. And that golden cum is sauce, though. It's really, really good. All right, so nobody's disrupting the fishing here. It looks like there's a junk coming out, so the junk could get a little bit aggro, so it's a good thing we're switching to a land-based economy here. We do not have biology quite yet, but let's go ahead and get biology now. Cool, so that's going to make our dudes extra good. Set up another one of these. I always forget the Uvu upgrades. I do, it's true. Um, we're going to get it here, though. So let's get the raiding bounty. The improved raiding bounty is probably worth it. And the trader one, I don't think we need to do at this point. Increases the torch damage, adds 50 stone to raiding come for igniting a building. So that's pretty good, if you ask me. All right, so let's go, sheep. Pile in there. Let's get the armor upgrade, because we're going to be battling. Okay. So he's coming down to fight already. We can go over. I don't know if we can, like, straight up take him yet. I don't know. A little bit dodgy, but he is going to get that cannon tower down very quickly, but not before it does big damage. Okay, we're not ready to show our hand yet. I want to wait for upgrades before we're, like, fully going in. Um, unfortunately, that tower didn't finish. Okay, how many workers are we at right now? So let's actually uh, stop making workers. We can get a little textiles action, and you come over here and get a cannon tower. And um, I would like to get the uh, cannon towers in the bases. Yeah, just like a couple loose cannon towers to make us a little bit harder to hit. So we're going, like, very, very heavy-duty elite. And once we potentially take this player out, we can then... I mean, I could lose this. I could 100% lose this. Jordan's a great player. Um, but I'm definitely going to try for it. I'm definitely going to try. All right, sheep. Let's get in there. Um, upgrade's coming along. Yeah, let's get you. And um, I think we're okay. Yeah, Pax Mongolica is quite good. We're definitely going to need to get that at some point. 700 gold, though. So that's uh, that, that ain't, ain't some, any small amount. So the Keshiks are pretty elite. And, I mean, the thing is we can raid his base pretty hard. Um, this one has not been upgraded yet. We got 33 on gold, so let's move here. Um, oh shit, where am I going to get more gold? Okay, we do have this, like, hill establishment. That's very fortunate. If I didn't have that, you know, we could be in a little bit of danger. All right, so let's go up here. Have you guys jump on this. And um, gold's going to be very sparse for a moment. But we have a lot of cash eggs coming out. And cool. So let's not start the war. I mean, he's still in Castle Age. Prime just took full map trade. Well, I need to get my trade going. So we need to win this conflict on the bottom, like, right now. 
Okay, spears. Let's get spears upgraded as well. We're purging all the resources and um, Quill Ghulam rushing me. As if Ghulam Rush is that scary in an FFA game. That's so funny. Oh my god. All right, team. You guys almost up there? How many gold nodes do we have? We have two gold nodes there, which is good. So. All right. So we're going to need to raid pretty aggressively here. Um, upgrades. Yeah, we, we got faltered on upgrades a little bit, unfortunately. And these fishing boats appear to have run out of fish, but there's plenty of fish in there. I don't know what they're talking about. All right, so let's get on gold, and um, you guys can get on the gold here, and we'll start working on that. So, Yeah, we got a pretty mean mean little army here, guys. We got a pretty mean force. All right, so let's go do work on this tree line. Have you pack up, come over here. And um, we need to get some siege engines, too. That's the one thing we're kind of lacking. Um, granted, you know, you can always brute force it down with Mongols, but I'd rather not. All right, so it's looking good. Let's get the uh, the speed upgrade for the greasehold axles. Let's go test the waters of uh, of this army and see what he's made of. So what we're going to do is grab a couple of you guys, go down here, um, raid the gold. And we're going to move into the main base and start torching shit. I suspect we could be in some danger. Elephants are pretty strong, but he's also still only castle age. So we have a big tech advantage. So I'm just going for bounty right now. You see, we're getting bounty. So we're going to start killing the infrastructure while we also raid down here. So uh, here comes his army. Okay. Khan's going to pull back. We need to get him an open field. Fighting here is going to be a little bit dodgy. So let's retreat back. In the meantime, we're killing Bills down here, and he hasn't reacted yet, so that's good. So now we can take the fight. So let's go here, let's go here, and attack. And the Khan is going to be using the attack speed. And let's run into his economy with the other ones here. So, all right. Hand cannoneers are doing pretty good. We butchered all of his villagers down here, so it seems like a bit of a lapse in micro on his part, which is good. And the Keshiks are very elite. We've also found his farms. And another reason why we're going after him is because he um, collected relics for us, right? Okay, so looks like he's pretty done for. I don't see him coming back from this. Um, let's go ahead and get some tower networks over here. Um, villagers are being hunted and harried. And um, yeah, now we can just get in and, and get into the cookie jar, basically, and just start taking all these down. So people just now reaching Imperial Age. Um, Keshiks come back and finish off those last workers there. And this is where we get to feast pretty hard, right? Because Mongols get a ton of money from killing buildings. So this is, um, this is great for us, and you can see he's running down to his keep there. Don't know if he's going to be able to survive, but we'll find out on today's episode of Dragon Balls. All right. Hey, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, Rodrigo. Hope all is well down in Brazil, my friend. All right. A lot of good MMA fighters come from your realm. That's for sure. Uh, looks like uh, Quill, you know, I mean, look, Quill was playing Ayubids against Imperial Japan. What does he expect to happen, right? It's, it's going to, the troll toll is going to be, you know, taking place. All right, so that's all going. We got towers being built, towers being built. We're getting a lot of bounty from these bad boys. Um, we need to grab a couple of villagers here and come up uh, up here and set up some religious buildings. And then we're going to try and get those relics. I guess we just go landmark hunting. Yeah, so let's get these guys, butcher these scholars. Um, down here, it looks like they've done their job. He might have taken the relics. It looks like he did. So we need to just find his landmarks, basically. And try not to, um, yeah, rams are arriving. Perfect timing. So the rams can just go after the other buildings here. All right. So let's go see what we can find here. I don't know if he's got any, like, landmarks hidden. Delhi, he's, he's Castle H, so what he's probably trying to do is go Imperial right now, I'd wager. The ram sign has arrived, so um, we can get the Step Lancers improved. I don't know if that was necessary, but it's super cool, so we're going to do it. And delete these guys, free up some supply. Cool. And uh, upgrades from the blacksmith. Let's go ahead and keep getting those pouring out. Yes, yes. And we can get the chemistry as well. Go for the TC. Rams keep going through. Yeah, he took the relics and maybe he sunk them. I'm not sure. It's a pretty funny thing. You can actually do that. You can take your relics and just like throw them in the, in the sea and drown them. All right, so a little bit of fishing. Eco still going strong. Um, you guys move down here and uh, let's get you and you to do this. Oh, look at that. Why are you giving... Oh, man. So he took the relics and gave them to... Uh... Green just gave his relics to Prime. <laughs> That's pretty funny, dude. I mean, I don't really care for relics. Trade is more my thing. But he just gave them. He spied the, the spite relic. That is really funny, man. Holy shit. He just gave all his relics to Prime. That's so evil. That's so evil. Okay, well, let's keep torching his base and getting all that sweet money. We're not in any rush. Um, in the meantime, we have our little tower network here. So let's do this, this, and this. And then we want to get the Pax Mongolica to get the towers a little bit stronger. 
Um, and then we just come down and just keep sweeping everything. But the amount of money we're, we're getting right now is pretty ludicrous from pillaging this base. It's really good. Alright, so we got our, our little prayer tents. Unfortunately, they're not going to be too happy. Um, let's do this, this, and this. Upgrade those. And um, these towers can be upgraded eventually as well. And, um, yeah. So Prime is going to be a lot stronger now. I mean, he just got a bunch of freebies. So that's not good. Because he's very good. Um, and he's playing a strong sieve, so. And he's also good at that strong sieve. It's not just that he's on a strong sieve. He's also very good at them. Alright, so yeah. Keep cleaning out the base. Uh, we are... You, where am I from? California. I live in California. Yeah. I live in old California. Great place to live. I love it. I mean, it has its faults, just like everywhere in the world, but it's, uh, it's, it's a nice place. At least where I am, you know. Okay, so we need to go find his last refuge. We have to punish him for... for I might have considered sparing him, but now that he's helped Prime, I, I have to, um, you know, I have to take him down. So where is this last landmark at? Okay. Probably in the corner up here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't feel like going to war with Imperial Japan without allies. So we're going to kind of not try and antagonize Prime yet. Um, there will come a time for war, but it's it's not right now. So Jordan probably built his landmark here. He probably built his landmark in Prime's territory, which is pretty hilarious. All right, we're going to set up some towers there. This is all we can really do. Let's get a couple more of these guys going. And go to the corner and take him down. Okay. I I am always getting cheated on with... People are always cheating on me with Prime. Like, Professor Pwn betrays me and allies with Prime when he's playing a stronger Civ in games. I don't know what it is, you know? Okay. I know he's a cool guy and all, but come on now. So we did destroy... Oh, we either destroyed... I think we destroyed the market. It's not a huge deal because there's a trade post right here. So what we're going to do is get the Silver Tree um, moved down to the corner and just send it down all the way here. And uh, go there. And it looks like Jordan is like maybe trying to ally with Prime. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, the H4, the H4 is in Prime's base for sure. The way that he's laughing is is 100% a tell. Okay, so who's still alive? Whisper is dead. Mr. Moo is dead, and Quill is dead. Okay, so there's definitely some powers emerging here in the world of uh, Age Vampires. So let's get you down. Have you guys all pack up shop and run down there. And, um, yeah, there's obviously going to be a landmark here. Let's go here, and we can send one of you up this way. And we'll continue trying to, you know, uproot them. He had to know that was coming, though. That was very obvious. Yes. Okay, so he's going to be his minion. Fair play. All right, let's do that. So who's still fighting up there? Dark Age Rush is next to me. Um, and then Dagoral is over there, and then it's just Prime and Jordan. So, okay. Uh, Dark Age, are you fighting Dagoral? I have to, I have to look for allies too, you know? So, Prime has entire top alone, and also now has an ally minion. Krab should change priority okay so we've cleared this out looking for the phone hey we found uh, the compound of the defender very nice so what we're gonna do this is a potentially a wonder spot by the way too we're gonna get some towers over there this is actually maybe a god tier wonder spot we'll have to see i don't know if uh i don't know if they would actually help me yeah and anyway, i destroyed jordan's landmark um, we're gonna see what Dagoral ends up saying. Maybe, maybe he'll be, you know, a team player. Maybe not. Okay, let's get a cannon tower there. Japan just uh, plus Jordan just gave him relics. Okay, so yeah, we need to get a couple of vills up there to uh, claim the food. So we're actually gonna go up with uh, this. Can we get it up there? Oh, we are max supply, so we can't. Okay, let's get that. So we got cannon towers all over the place. Unfortunately, it's probably killing some of these workers. Um, we also need to go ahead and build towers here. Yeah, Jordan just gave him relics too. Like, uh, Imperial Mongols are respectable, but I, there's no way I could take him one-on-one, -on -one, I don't think. It's, it's very likely we wouldn't be able to. But we're going to make some more production infrastructure. Okay, 
Okay, so let's get our basic units upgraded because eventually we're going to run out of goods, right? Men at arms aren't like super essential here. Let's move you guys there. And um, they can just set up another one of these. Okay, so now we have a bit of an interesting situation where we need to establish the trade. So let's go ahead and do this and have you guys come down. And uh, I don't know how good this trade's going to be, but it should be better than nothing, that's for sure. And we'll switch into a trade economy here. Yeah. Towers are coming up here. Is he trying to repair it? Are you two going to let him win up there? Because Mongols cannot take Japan 1v1. Okay. Okay, so we're over here. Let's get on the trees. You guys finish building all these, please. They're free spirits, yeah. I mean, if they're gonna if they're gonna play poorly and just fight play against each other, then we likely won't be able to take them down. I mean, I'm gonna give it my best try for sure, but um, you know, let's get that, and now we can start doing this. So those guys are gonna flow like the salmon of Capistrano. Let's can cancel this, and you guys, we can also delete you. You guys jump on wood here, great. So now trade is gonna be coming out. You could have been my Valentine, he says. Yeah, because Green's going to be allying him. Granted, I don't know. He might even help him defend against the Wanderer. All right, so let's get, like, towers all along the border here. And um, we just need to prepare for Mortal Kombat. Yeah, we did knock him off that gold, which is good, but he's he's gathering. Uh, turn, I speak for the suffering of chat. Please build the Nauvoo. I had one, didn't I? I have the White Stupa, dude. The White Stupa counts as a permanent Nauvoo. But I guess we'll build another one. Okay. Do they stack? Can I have multiple Uvus? See, I don't play Mongol, so I'm, I'm learning all this as we go. Okay, infantry are upgraded. We need to get um, army tactics. And, um, yeah, finish out these upgrades, rally, and siege works. We got 47 on uh, wood at the moment. Okay, so it's going to start adding up. We have the religious buildings. Towers are being built. And what I wanted to do is, yeah, I think our trade is going to be pretty respectable. He's clearly not in conflict now. Dago, you need to put aside your differences if you want any chance to win. Or can play like a potato if you want. Okay, I'm trying to politic with him a little bit. It's not even politics, it's just simply the truth at this point. Um, Alright, so let's get our traders and um, they can trade here to here. Perfect. So let's see what they're going to be bringing back. Oh, 67 is respectable. That's definitely worth spamming. It's definitely worth spamming. And um, I'm going to get a couple bombards. And I could fight a war, but it would be it would be a little bit dodgy right now. It'd be a little bit dodgy for sure. Let's do this. Both of you guys do this. We got cannon towers and cannon towers along the frontier. Um, and we could do a little bit of piracy in the water. Fishing boats, I, I think we could just afford to delete them at this point. We got cannons coming. Yeah, but Imperial Japan's brutal. It's gonna be brutal. Especially since he has an ally, they could 2v1 me. So if they're not gonna help, I might need to play for myself. I might need to just go for a desperation corner in the wonder. All right, what are we doing then? Uh, I don't even know where Prime is. Uh, he's east of map. So you'll need to push top and stop trade because he's cross map at the moment with a pet with a pet player jordan okay so we've we've established that and it looks like we have finished the gold here so let's go there oh no we actually have another one right here great okay and let's keep going here get that trade going all right so that's good and we got the yam network it's 83 a pop actually oh that's even better so I can start pushing now, but it's uh, it's going to be hard for sure. We got you, and um, yeah, we don't have too much stone at the moment. We have a little bit. They will wonder soon. I'm going to start join quick or we dead. I'm announcing it, but it, I think it's good to just get the uh, the intent out here. And um, I definitely need more racks. I don't have a, enough barracks here. I could run out of food, considering my bank's kind of sucky. 
But now we're going to be facing the dreaded Ozutsu stacks, which is going to be terrifying. Whoa, Blue, what are you doing? Blue, no. That is my base. Oh my god, you're the worst! What are you doing? Right as I start fighting Imperial Japan, dude. Is this a joke, dude? What is he doing, dude? Go around the top. Uh, go, go top. Oh my god, what is this shit, dude? Oh my god. Tons of space. Okay, so we defeated that army, which is good. Blue, unfortunately, disrupted my trade here. So that's that's unfortunate. My towers did keep his haggardness at bay. And we were able to win there. So clearly, Prime is crypto at the moment. Small army. Yeah, he's he's been banking gold with crypto, cryptocurrency. That's how you can tell. He's got like such a tiny little army here. Look at that. His samurai, samurai aren't, aren't even imperial yet. Oh my god, really? So he's just playing pure greed. All right, let's get into his base. Okay, do that, and we get a couple of you guys going around this way and go over the top here. So we just need to keep pillaging. Yeah, do this and have a couple of you guys go after the Ozutsu. And green, a green is accidentally killing him. Yeah. And all right, let's get some cannons going and start torching down buildings. Let's take down these buildings with the relics in them to make it a little bit harder. We got Ozutsu here, and let's get a couple of you guys bouncing this way to kill his wood eco. And cool. So we're up in his base pretty effectively here. Um, we are taking down buildings with relics. Um, which towers is he talking about? I'm not sure. Okay, well, anyways, I gotta focus on this. So you are killing Ozutsu. Prime was not prepared for this, actually. It seems like he was a little bit underprepared. But he has Ozutsu, so building, like, any sort of static defenses seems a little bit stupid. Um, but anyways, yeah, he's got his, uh, he's got his spear minion. Okay. So let's get some at arms coming this way. Do this. All right, so Prime Prime might actually be dead if he didn't have an ally here. I might have actually been able to straight kill him. Prime's ally helping him. Okay, so yeah, we pulled some bills in. Not sure why he's targeting those. We get that down, and now we can start torching houses. And um, all right, so let's set up a tower here. Just have some fun, and you guys can go get on the stone down here, whatever. Hmm. Yeah, this is going extremely well. I mean, if he didn't have this spear boy helping him, we would have already probably demolished most of his base. And um, we need to get more um, of that going, so let's get some more siege workshops. Mongols are pretty ferocious, man. They're definitely not a joke. All right, so let's get these um, religious buildings. And um, we can queue these guys up and try and steal some relics from him. Because he's like corner Japan, right? So he's just cackling hard. We've already put a bit of hurt on his base. Let's get you guys and set up this for the ham network, which is good. The ham network, as I like to call it. We see some bills over here trying to build shit, so we need to go take them down. And uh, hand cannoneers, all this. Yeah, this is actually going incredibly well. I mean, we are winning these fights very decisively. Okay, so let's get into that. Cool. We've got 25 bills here. Do we have any gold left? We do have some gold there. So if we do that, take you. And pack up. Go set that up. And, uh, yeah, just keep kind of hammering in. He now has the dreaded Ozutsu blobs, though, so this is where it gets a little bit scarier. Um, let's do that. And we can just kind of keep going after the Ozutsu, yes. And you guys keep sniping the Ozutsu down. Yes, please. Got a cannon emplacement coming there. Ozutsu can easily kill these towers very quickly. But I still think it's, uh, it's a worthy deterrent, right? So what did he get here? Did he escape with the TC? I don't think so. We need to kill his ally. If I kill his ally, that definitely helps. Um, we can start spamming horsemen, because horsemen will honestly do a pretty darn good job here. And um, we need to make more traders too. All right. So keep jamming. He's going for the tower, which is fine. Um, unfortunately, it goes down. But we have a cannon tower elsewhere. Yeah, now he's getting that critical mass. Yellow bought him a lot of time to survive this. Uh, what is our eco at? We're at 132 eco. We could probably cut a little bit on lumber. So let's cut some of you guys, and then this can be set up here. Okay. We're stealing the gold from outside the base, which is cute. Um, if somebody else helps me, he's for sure dead. So let's pull him back to the cannon tower real quick. We need to gather our troops. Let's build some spears uh, and hang tight. All right, so gather up. Fight his army here. We have the religious characters coming up to get the goodies. And we need to get rams coming, because Ozutsu don't do anything against rams. You guys better hurry. I'm 2v1. 
Yeah, I don't know how long I can hold on with the uh, 2v1 on these guys. It's going to be hard. All right, so let's get this. Go here. Get this one. Let's run past the spears. It's worth diving those. Okay, so we got those both. Let's head down and see if we can find Green's, like, you know, position. And um, go from there. All right, so we found a fair amount of workers, which is good. So let's get the workers and get the workers here. If I have to fight him 2v1, at least somebody's going to try. Okay, a lot of reinforcements coming up, which is great. And uh, just hunt these workers. Yeah, hunt them. Let's get them, boys. And these spearmen are still on upgraded potatoes, so... Yeah, that's, that should be fine. And uh, hand cannoneers. We got a lot of bombards coming, a lot of artillery. And that's where his last landmark is. Okay, cool. So we know where, we, we know what's going on there. We got all his bills. These guys can keep butchering here, cutting off the reinforcements. But I could run out of steam here. I definitely could. The trade though is keeping us keeping that war machine alive, man. It's doing it's doing great. Let's make basic horsemen. Uh, what are we getting? Yeah, 69. So we need to uh, make sure it is on the back market here. Yeah, those zoots here are getting killed. So let's pull back. Um, we do have the cannon tower here. Okay. Let's go into Prime's Eco. I think green isn't as much of a threat, so if we can just disrupt Prime's economy, that's going to be good. Okay, so let's keep going up here, seeing what we can find. And obviously, you guys want to go into the farms there, and you can just kill this Ozutsu. Okay, outstanding. Yeah, he's overwhelming us with the support of green. So we need you guys to build some towers here, so let's do this in towers. Okay, we might be able to hold here, but I am in his economy. Is he, is he all in on it right now? Where's the where's his economy at? He's just hiding them, I guess? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Well, Cannon Tower gets one-shotted by the Ozutsu. Classic. And uh, let's get that worker. Yeah. All right. And let's just keep looking. Yeah, he's got a lot of eco now. So we're stealing this gold. Oh, here we go. Okay. He's got keeps all up in the north. Yeah, he was definitely preparing for a wonder with his minion here. Um, all right. Okay, so hopefully the lads will get close by. Let's go here and just switch on to the wood. And now we can reroute our armies and hopefully fight here a little bit safer. Um, Mangan also would be very good to spam. We haven't quite been able to find his, his like where his farms are at. I think he's all in. Let's go up top and see what we can find with our remaining troopers. Oh shit, I lost that breed out. Oh, friggin' Ozutsu, man. Just like kill that thing in like two seconds. Okay, I think, I think we can, like, probably defeat his army here. He's just going to be shooting some random towers and whatnot and trading Ozutsu for them. Probably isn't the best. Okay, he's got a fishing eco. That's a large part of it. Um, no problem. I don't know why I built spring alds. It must. Oh, I must have uh, misclicked on that. All right, so let's get you guys to just target down these. Perfect. Nobody's going to let a corner Japanese player just cackle this hard. You know, you can't. Corner Mongols are also a big threat, but um, since he has a minion... Going okay. Finish him. He has an ally. Teaming ain't, ain't chill, bro. Okay. We gotta get him. Keep hunting. No mercy. When he cries for help, we have to get him. Okay, he's trying to save some Ozutsu. I'm at 201 supply somehow. Uh, are the relics still on the ground here? They are. Do I have my religious characters around? Do I have any? So many castles, I know. I wonder why. All right, so let's get the rams. Uh, let's get the mangonel upgrade. And um, we can keep going from here. So we do see that he still has the relics. Okay, we need to get those relics if we can. Yeah, he's charging me with a couple spear units, unfortunately. Lures us into the keeps. Let's pull back. We need to go salvage this artillery core. I don't know why I have spring alts, honestly. Japan doesn't even build artillery. Uh, we're at 136. We probably need to kind of cut that down a little bit. You know, honestly, it's interesting for Prime. Because if he, um, if he didn't make an alliance and, like, have a minion, the politics against him would be way better. The fact that he's, like, willingly accepting another player to be his minion is, is actually hurting him here, like, pretty bad. Right? Okay, so let's do this. Start taking all these down, yeah, to get the houses. Cool. Great. And you guys come down here and get all the houses too. And we can go set up some towers here. Get these guys. Um, cancel all that. And uh, do we not... Oh, our horsemen aren't even elite yet. Jeez, that's really bad. Uh, no, I'm going to play with somebody in chat next game. You, you chose your fate.
Winnie, you accepted a minion. You could have killed him. Yeah, he accepted it. Okay. See, now he regrets taking an ally. Yeah, see, now he's regretting it. I love it. All right, so let's get all this. Prime, look at that. And he's building a wonder too. <laughs> look at that. It's how evil is he, dude? How evil is he? Jordan, I will spare you if you help. Okay. We'll see if he takes it. Sounds good. So we're just trying to kill all the farms, uh, all of his housing eco now. Oh my god, does he have some bullshit like water corner or something? He might. We might need to get like a Mongol Navy going. So let's start on the upgrades, uh, just to be safe. Okay, so let's get you. We take this back here. Okay, so we're moving in. Let's get you guys hustling over here. We got that. And we're going to get some towers. We got rams coming in. Dude, yeah, of course he has a wander. He's just like trying to act like he's like being victimized here and shit. Come on now. I know him too well. So our, our play was good because the fact that we already are established on him, like hitting him before he's able to get the wonder, is a huge, huge one. It's absolutely massive, right? Okay, let's see where else we are going. So we're just going to kill the landmarks where we can. Pull in you. Yeah, cool. It looks like Prime killed him. Prime killed Jordan. That's what you get for allying with someone. It never ends well. Yeah. Okay, can we get that? So we're going to just get as many landmarks as we need to here. Let's bring you guys up and um, keep getting in here. And we're going to need to make a huge navy, obviously. Um, so, because he's, he's going to be on an, a freaking... He might have a corner island, which would just be so busted. Is his wonder still not... Oh my god, he only has a couple villager here. Wow, he just now finished that. That's really haggard. Okay. So, let's get you over here, and we can grab these relics. And, um, yeah, we just need to kind of keep pushing in, step read out. Do we have any more gold nodes we can grab? Not really, so we're just going to go hide you in the corner. Okay. And um, religious dudes, let's get this and go back here. Sacred sites are on the table as well. We need to clear those deer out from up there, if possible. So let's go do this. Okay. So just keep hammering through the base. What the hell is this? Dark Age Rush? Oh, it's like one of those Byzantine camels. We should be able to get it. Um, I'm suspecting. I don't know what kind of a navy he has, but let's let's test the waters here. Build some towers on the coast, and um, he may have OP Corner Island. I'm not sure, but we're going to go work down here and see if we can do it. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Leave them be. Control your units. <laughs> Military discipline. All right. So we got a lot of stone, boys. I actually don't know what this would potentially look like because I can't check. I'm pretty sure we could like slap one down up there. That's That will be the uh, essential plan, assuming we're able to stop this. I mean, Prime could still win it. You never know. Okay, so let's get all these guys going all over. Yeah, it'd be somewhere in this general area. Okay, so let's see how this looks here. He's trying to rewall, but we're going to build some towers and stuff. Yeah, we're going to build towers and towers. Okay, so he's trying to defend. Um, we need to get some riders and go see what this looks like. He might have like a weird angle to move around on the side. He might. Okay, so what does this look like? Is he walled? Is there... Okay, there's a tiny strip of land. Got it. As long as my artillery doesn't get attacked, we should be okay. Okay, let's get that boat. All right, and take these down and this. And then we can build some, um, some docks here. All right, so we're going to go test the waters here. We need to... Oh, my God, he's running through my base. Oh, that's so stressful. Okay, um, well, it is what it is. Fix it. He's rallying through my base, dude. He's getting blasted by cannon towers. Okay, so we may have found the rat's nest here. Okay, he's taking down my artillery here, so well played. Let's get some cannons going. And, um, yeah, we're going to get some ships. Let's garrison you in towers. Get that going. Yeah, cannon placements everywhere. Getting towers, getting towers. How long do we have? 12 minutes left? Okay. 
Prime's a very good defender, but I think 12 minutes will will, will have enough time to uh, hopefully make some progress here. Just rallying everybody through my base. I love it. It's so haggard. All right, so how are we looking? Uh, we need to get some of you food workers. Have you guys come up here and work on those. Oh my god, this is like a filthy spot, isn't it? Okay. So take that down and that down. Got the battering rams coming. The Khan is going to try and flee, but he's trapped. Okay, lovely. Oh my god, of course he got this, this spawn. I love it. So if we just make navies, it should be enough, to be honest, I think. Enemy captured sacred site. I don't know, is blue even helping? I don't I don't really know if he is, to be honest. Alright, so let's get just make cannons. We have bombard cannons, the towers that are about to finish here. Let's get that going. And yeah, they should be blasting away in a second. There we go. Okay, now they're shooting. And you guys pull back. Great. And um, yeah, we need to make demo ships if possible. And um, we can keep working on towers here. Yeah, we do have cannons. Reinforcements are on the way. So let's just keep torching buildings that are in the way. We'll have a big batch of cannons coming soon. All right, so let's get this. And um, we can make some of these and continue on all the naval upgrades here if possible. Okay, so that one dock will work on that while we um, work on this here too. Yeah, so he's popping ships out. We need to get our army and go up and like remove his trade. What have we got? 12, 10 minutes and 41 seconds? That's a long time. That should be enough. Especially if we can... Like, working through that choke point is going to be hard, but I'm going to do both. Oh, I know. I'm planning on demo ships. Don't worry. Okay. Can we get another dock here? Yeah, we need to get this. All right. And the cannon towers are doing pretty well there. It looks like his navy is going to be getting diminished. Okay. Let's delete you guys. Continue working down the side now. So we're going to waddle here with our army. Hopefully do well for ourselves. Um, it looks like we are going to be getting the Byzantines uh, moving over that way. Yeah, our bank isn't very good, sadly. It's okay, I guess. Yeah, he's got he's got a lot of stuff there. I'm in the water. Yeah, me too. Um, we can go ahead and... Oh, wrong button. Five. Oh, did I just literally unhotkey all my military buildings? Is there a way to select all military buildings? I should know this, but it's not something I do terribly often, so... I think that is more or less most of them. And then we had some back here, too. Yeah, that's it. Okay, great. Okay, so let's just get some wood while we're here. Um, we can delete a portion of you guys. And then we can get some bow chads. I think that just accidentally made a bunch of traders. You gotta love it. Okay, hand cannoneers are coming. Let's start knocking down the walls. And um, then we knock down this wall here. We're going to have some navy coming out here in a second. So that'll start adding up. And we can go all in if we need to. The sad part is I'm not going to be able to counter wonder after this. I just simply won't have enough resources. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, look at this filth over here, dude. Look at this. Look at this pure, pure nastiness. Okay, let's get the towers. Cannons are knocking him down. It looks like he's going to be potentially exposing himself here. Okay, we can actually ride through and get those now. I think we can fit. Yep. So we're gonna get all of his uh, all of his goodies and move you guys into. Oh yes, oh yes, give me those, dude. No, you're not getting away. Not today. He might get away with a couple, maybe. His cryptocurrency collector's in the corner. Okay, he got away with one, and now we just clean this guy out and take this down. We're fine. So these look like they can't fit there, which is pretty troll. Um, let's move across and see. So we have these. We're going to have to build a um, transport ship, actually. So let's do a transport ship. Get these cannons transported over. We have our chads. What do we have? Eight minutes left? Okay. That ain't bad. That ain't bad, boys. Okay. So let's just do um, the step readout can go chill over here. And you guys can just uh, get on these trees here. I think we can get a wonder here soon, too. Okay. So we need to delete a little something something. Okay, we're cutting down on workers. Transport ships have come. So let's go load up the bombards. And uh, he does have the Japanese keeps, which is very scary. I think we almost got him. <laughs> is it too late to sue for peace? It definitely is too late. All right. Let's be reasonable. I don't know about that, buddy. Okay, so let's get you to go set that up. Drop the bombards off here. 
And we have a chat at sea. Okay. So we have, like, a shit ton of bombards. I don't know what his standing army looks like back here. He probably has his last landmark back there, too. Okay, a little bit of a line of sight issue, but should be fine. And then it's going to be chaos, for sure. Oh, Prime's even trading here. It's only for 7 to pop up. Mongols are pretty good, boys. They're pretty good. Okay, let's move up here. Get these bombards to move up. And we can basically get the keep now, I think. Let's rush in and see what this looks like. Okay. He says, I'm just a turn sandwich when you die. Yeah, maybe. Okay. And um, let's see what this looks like. And we don't have enough at the moment. What are we missing? Wow, 10,000? Oh, I think we're on a gigantic map. Where's his last landmark, by the way? It's got to be here somewhere, right? Did he repair one in his base? He probably has one hidden back there. All right. So the party continues. Um, I have a decent food bank. Not amazing. We're definitely going to want to get some relics if we can. So let's see if we can snake those. Okay. So this is a pretty villainous area up here for sure. Ah, he's got another little landmark spot maybe. I'm not sure. Yes, good teamwork. Good teamwork indeed. So that's this. Uh, this. And I think his uh, Azutsu are up here. Yep, they're up here. I'm not going to leave the terror to, to, to hang, you know. Although I could get my base backstabbed right now. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we need to do this and build some more uh, towers here. Yeah, so you guys are all coming together well. So let's do this, this, this. Yeah, let's get all you cannon towers upgraded. Cannon towers. Let's delete this and delete that. Although we could find a way to move back and delete that landmark, so we should go hide a up there. Everyone is trading at the moment. Alright. So, yeah, he never deposited that one, which is very troll. So let's go do that. And come down here. And do that. Blue, though, while, while we bonded recently, <laughs> the alliance is already shifting. We found the Tanagashima OP smith up here. Oh my god, these freaking, these stupid cannons can't make it around. That's so troll. No, I'm not going to waste time with it. Let's just move up here. Okay, Blue, is he going to shut down my trade? Oh, they're fighting already. Okay. That's pretty funny how quickly that, how short-lived that alliance was. But yeah, we're going to make an effort to definitely finish him off here. We can't, we can't let him uh, cackle, you know. The relics are, we're just going to have to sneak some relics up, or some villagers up there at some point to uh, go try and get the relics. Yeah, we'll set up like a monastery there or something. Alright. So this is literally the trollest shit ever. I have, to finish him, I have to like deal with like 500 Ozutsu on the hill. So we're going to do that, because if I don't, then that's something that's really threatening that could be coming my way, right? So, yeah, the time, the, the siege continues, man. You still... You two... Uh, you two can fight while I chase Prime. He's got an Ozu Legion laughing at me in the hills. Alright, so here comes the boys. I wish these guys would stop attacking me. That'd be great. <laughs> I won't go down easy. I'm game. Yeah, he says it's pretty funny. Okay. okay, let's get some more towers here. And then we want to get you... Yeah, can you guys come up here, please? You must settle this for us, she says. Dagger all in him. Oh my god, I love it. The, the thematic duel of fates between these guys, huh? All right, so let's get some cannon towers. Get some cannon towers here, here, and here. Um, we need to get you down here too for a couple more. And I have to finish off Prime. I can't, I can't let him, I can't let him cackle. You know, he's gonna try and repair landmarks here. Obviously, that would be the play. Might get one villager. Unfortunately, Blue has kind of screwed me up. No, oh, here he goes. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna chase him all the way to the bank. We found those guys. He's got his Ozutsu on the walls here. 
Yep, you guys build that. My eco is, uh, it's decent at the moment. Okay. We'll get there eventually. We just have to deal with the Scourge, the, uh, the Ozutsu on the hills. Yeah, it's fine. He can he can have his little corner rat's nest back. The Ozutsu are the real problem. Once they're gone, you know, we're, we're golden, man. We're golden. Start working on towers here. Yeah, I, I already have a bunch of mangonels on the way. Yeah, I already have a bunch of mangoes. Yep. That's the plan, man. That's the plan. These are just random buildings. And um, we need to get you guys. Let's get a couple. Come build some uh, towers around these. Once the mangonels arrive, we're A-OK. -okay. They should be here soon. Yeah, we got two. We got a bombard coming as well. Let's get this down. And um, yeah, then we're just going to have to go kill that landmark up on the top again. Hey, Gunhound. How you doing, man? It's almost your birthday. Almost. All right, so let's start working on it. Let's get the mangoes going here. Are you? Uh, is he friendly firing his walls and shit? Oh my god, that's so funny. Look how much damage they do against the Rams, though, thankfully. Like, none. Oh my god. J Japan is such a silly Civ and FFA, dude. Look at this shit. Look how much he has. And that's all free. Oh my god. We need to clear out all the space. Alright, so let's get in here. Let's see how much room he has to run. Oh, he even has a cannon up there. Okay. Okay, so we got the Keshiks in. I don't know if they're going to win. We're sure as hell going to try. And we need to get you artillery pieces uh, shooting into the core of the army. And um, you guys can come over here and start knocking on this wall. Okay, I think we're going to get him. Let's get you guys on the Tanakashima. Yeah, he's, he's going for my artillery, which is fine. We've almost got the Ozutsu numbers down, but we're not going to let him. We're not going to let him cackle away at us this time, man. And you uh, target his bombard cannon. The Ozutsu numbers have been defeated. Uh, I suspect he's already repaired his landmark up top. But yeah, we need to get a tower up here too to make sure that doesn't happen again. Okay. Oh my God! Finally. Yeah, he's got a lot of them. Thankfully, the Rams were pretty good at, like, spearheading and anchoring that. Okay, so we just killed that last Ozutsu. That villager comes up and builds a tower. We got them coming here. We're just going to make arrow slits to prevent builders from doing their thing. And now we take our Dread Legion and we move around. It has to happen. Uh, can we can make another Ubu here, actually. Cool. Getting a lot of bounty money. Got 3,000 here, so let's uh, upgrade some of these and yeah, make our, our little border defenses pretty stalwart. He can only run for so long. <laughs> We're gonna get him eventually. Look, look. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Prime's trying to politic to stay alive, which I respect. It's a good call. All right, let's hunt you down and have the Keshik's hunt. And we need to get up there because he's going to try and build a uh, wall to wall me out while he, he does that. So we need to just get ahead of him. Yep, make sure that there's nothing going there. And you can already see he's re-walled there. How does he have the resources for that? Jesus Christ, he's got so many. All right, so yeah, we got the villagers mostly, so we just need to keep hunting him. I'm always surprised at how well villagers can outrun freaking cavalry in this game. Yeah, oh my god, this area is so obnoxious to get past to. You bet you can't find your fifth landmark? Oh, I will. At this point, like, he's not really a threat. I, I don't even need to kill him, per se. I can leave him alive. Um, we might want to get a dock. Yeah, so let's get a dock, and we can get some transport ships and just sail across. Is that a, is that a dock? No, it's a barracks. Okay. All right, so let's get you. Looking fine. So we got this, this, and this. Got to stay on top of him. He's trying to hug the trees, which is smart. Okay, cool. So we got a tower coming up there, which will prevent that. We're going to get a dock and we're going to load up. And um, I don't know if he's got anything down here. He might have a little villager alcove. We got all the landmarks um, pretty much under control. These two are probably in Mortal Wombat. He's trading for 31, which is respectable. Um, looks like there's another little rat's nest here. All right, so let's get a transport ship, and um, we can delete some of these two. And oh, it looks like there's like a trade route through there or something. Trading for seven gold. Okay. 
Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is really good. Okay, we have a destroyed market, a Japanese market here. So let's take that down. Delete this. Delete a handful of you guys. And um, we need to go ahead and delete a handful of you to get that transport ship out. It's produced. I'm producing something that's screwing that up. Okay, there we go. Epic duel of fates in the West. It is. Sure is. Okay, load it on up, team. Let's go, and let's go. You guys are about to kill Terry, who wants in on the action. Yeah. Ain't that true. All right, let's load up here. Um, we've discovered this little rat's nest here. And after this... Oh, he does have a junk. That's really funny. Oh, my God, he's got a junk. He's got a couple junks, it would look like. Yeah, so we're just going to nuke them into the Shadow Realm here. All right. Uh, cool. Mangos are doing it. Let's get these guys turning about face. We'll keep the Bombard knocking down this. And it looks like there's a Wolo Low of the Gods coming, which is really funny. That's my transport ship. All right, so let's get the monks. Boulders on the head. And I just don't want to know Zutsu Legion sneaking up on me. You know, because he gets them for free. So even if he's like any ounce of him is allowed to... I don't, I don't need the market. I'm totally happy with my trade right now. Getting like 80, which is quite good. Um, Alright, so let's go up here. Take him down. Uh, get some religious characters. Do we have any laying around? We do have one. Okay. Prime trying to fight to the bitter end here, which is hilarious. He's got literally one worker left. Okay, let's go up there. And uh, this is his Temple of Equality. Crypto crash time. He, I don't know if he snuck someone past me to repair this one of the hills. That would be really funny, but I don't think he did. The Holy Buddha Temple. Just like history. With Buddhism and Japan. Alright. So we took that down. And um, yeah, we are all good. That's going to be the end of the road for the Tyrant. GG. All right. So now um, we can go ahead and prepare and get just get ready to party here. We don't have like the best bank in the world, but it's certainly decent. Um, we can delete most of these guys, I think. We do have a monk coming up. We don't need the rams. And um, let's build some... Uh, let's get you guys on boat and just build a monastery up there. No Typhoon this time, I know. No Typhoon this time. Okay, so let's go over here. And you guys can load up in the boat with the religious homie. We're going to grab that. And um, yeah, there's a market here too, but it's not as good of a spot. All right, load in. Yep, And let's go drop. We'll get those relics. And uh, at this point, we're going to have four or five relics. So we can get the um, we can get the tithe barns. So we're gonna pack you up and bring you down here, and um, then uh, yeah, we can get tithe barns with that. Okay, so let's get the monastery. Do that. And we're just gonna kind of keep them up here. We we don't need to bring them all the way back to the base. Yeah, so they're gonna turn on me very quickly. Obviously, if if I do anything funny. Um, I do have decent fortifications on most fronts. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of cannon towers there. A lot of cannon towers here, but like an English attacker is pretty brutal. And uh, let's build a bunch of siege workshops here. That's always like the last line of defense you want to have. Although we can do this first. We got you. Let's come down here. We have some on lumber, some on food. Our food is actually adequate for a hold. We don't need more than that. So we're going to come down there and party. All right. Let's do this. And um, you, Vils, in the meantime, we can just delete you to free up supply. And then here and here. It's always good to have a monastery parked in the back for defensive Wololos when people are diving you and stuff. So, Yeah, all right. So we got more guys heading down once they're ready. 58 is going to be enough, I think. Um, sacred sites are a bit of a, a fishy one here, aren't they? So we need to get a couple of you lumber villagers head over here and um, see what the hell this looks like. Yeah, they could counter sacred me, which would be really bad. That would be really, really bad. Uh, hopefully they won't think of it. Hopefully they won't think of it, but um, we can muster a big army of... Oops, wrong thing. Man, I screwed up on my hotkeys again. Lovely. Oh, did I? 
Oh my god, I did that haggard deleting thing again. Dude, I have some weird binding on my hotkeys where I just delete my eco buildings. I don't know what it is, but it is super troll. Well, anyways, we have enough. We can just rebuild. And um, we'll rebuild it here. So it's going to be that. And then you can rebuild the archer ranges on the side. And um, we can get the barracks going here too. Okay. You guys see that? I don't know what that is. Um, we need to unbind that one of these games. So that that doesn't happen again. It's very, very troll. Okay. And Siege Workshops too. So 60 of you guys. We can go help build these real quick. Um, and go back. Yeah. So is there anything in the middle? Prime has left the match. GG. I, I'm hitting some hotkey. Um, let's, uh, where can we unbind that? Game, hotkeys. Someone's going to like wonder while I'm doing this. I'd be so sad. Controls. Um, delete, delete. So that would be, where would I even find that? Somebody could let me know. That'd be nice. Game. Hmm. It's very weird. Very weird. Well, anyways, we're going to build that. <laughs> he said Prime, Prime has left the match. He's like, yeah, he's, he's breathing a sigh of release. I know it's a, it's a waste of wood for sure, but it is what it is. Uh, it, you know, I obviously am hitting some button that's deleting my shit. And I don't know what it is off the top of my head. All right, that should be enough there. Um, we're going to do this. And we are going to go and get ready to party. <laughs> if they knew where I was deleting my landmarks, uh, my buildings, they wouldn't feel so bad. Okay, cool. Can't undo hockeys while in game. Yeah, I got to just delete that, whatever it is, the delete building hockey. Because I'm accidentally, like, hitting it while I'm slipping between keys. Uh, I think I just pulled the trigger here, by the way. Yeah, I think we just we just go for it. Yeah, and let's party. Let's party like it's 99. And let's get all of you to start producing and hand cannoneers. Um, those are going to be producing. Let's get mangoes and cannons and whatnot. And I'm going to pull it now. Yeah, we should be fine. And once they finish this wonder, I can move up and um, get back on wood. We have an army standing, so we're going to be ready for the Bizen memes. Yeah, we're rebuilding units, which is great. Would have set the lobby. Yeah. If, if you have an ally, though, it's... Um, I think you would have actually been able to not get politicked against if you hadn't had a minion. All right. So we go get that, and then you guys can come and help build some here. So let's build some more of this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thankfully, we have a shit ton of gold. So where are they going to be attacking from first is the question. We do have a really nasty spot. Although, ooh, I didn't notice this. So there's a wall over there. Okay, so that needs to be that needs to be reinforced. Um, hardcore. That's actually a really big weakness. Okay. And all these buildings should be getting uh, fired off here. Great. And we got the wood. So the wood is going to come back online now. We got food and gold for days. And we're all set. All right, so here he comes. The traders are going to get taken down, no surprises. But let's see if we can um, meet his army here and potentially crush it. Um, what is our eco? 125. So we're going to delete soon. I think we can delete most of the food eco as it comes. Oh, he doesn't have any siege, so he might actually struggle versus those cannon towers. Believe it or not. We have a little bit of stone. Yeah, he's getting last samurai in there. We're going to delete all our traders uh, soon. And then the Byzantines are going to come from here. Yeah, that's, a, that's like that's like the hole in our armor. Oh my god, can he just run straight to the wonder there? He can. All right. So we need to get all our full army and run this way. Yeah, I thought I had some OP spot, but then there's, you know, you see the big vulnerability in it. I didn't even know there was a mountain, like a goat's pass there. Yeah. Cannon Tower's got that one unlocked. So we just need to take our whole army down here and go um, crush the Byzantine memes. And uh, can we get another Cannon Tower? We can. The Wonder, unfortunately, you can't pack up the Wonder and move. No, you cannot. And let's get some more towers back here. And that choke point. Um, Blue has made it kind of far, but he doesn't have, like, a proper siege setup. So I think we're okay. Um, he's going to get there. He's going to discover the Cannon Towers. Shit, do we have enough here? Let's see. Might need some of you guys to come repair this shit. Oh, my God. We're going to lose the Wonder! Oh, I didn't prepare at all. Dude, that, that little back door of the gods got me so good. I didn't see that alley. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't see the alley. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't see this little, like, alley. I didn't think he could get there from his base. Oh, man. That's so bad. We have some cannons still shooting, but he's going to get in and get this ass right now. Oh, my God. Thankfully, he's turning around. Um, but maybe they can get there. Oh, my God. I didn't mention the side. It's good that you didn't mention it to me. It's good. 
Because that's kind of like cheating. If you like, that would that would feel bad. Well, so much for that. <laughs> oh my God, Green, dude! I didn't see that. That's so haggard. I love it. Hey, now this. But here's the upside, guys. This game is going to be exponentially more interesting now. You guys thought it was um, thought it was just going to be over. Well, now now it's going to get real spicy. All right, let's do a little bit of scouting up here. So I think will he keep attacking? I might need to flee into the north. Yeah. I'm so sad I didn't see that, by the way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got transport ships being built there. Okay, so we need to just hold. Well, now I'm broke. Okay, let's get our traders, see if we can stabilize some of those. How many do we have laying around? Uh, looks like not too many. Seven traders left. Okay. And blue is coming. Uh, I don't know if the Byzantines will keep attacking. Probably not. Dude, drop another wonder? That would be really funny, actually. That's fine. That's fine. England might leave. Um, our base is mostly intact. We just gotta go for this. And, I mean, we can try again later, for sure. Um, now that I know about that stupid alley, we might be okay. Um, any trade around here I could go for? Let's go see if there's any errant docks up here. I think there is. We could probably do north to south trade. He speaks with Slaneshi voices. It's true. But the thing is, if they want to finish me off, I can scurry and run away and be really troll. So, um, I don't I wonder if he's going to notice how his homie isn't helping him, you know? that's That, that could be the case. All right, so traders. Um, I believe there's a dock up here. Let's see. We're going to kind of keep exploring the peninsula. And, um, yeah, we should be able to fend off the attackers here. And rebuilding our economy won't be too hard since we're on Triple TC. So. It's all good in the neighborhood, boys. Yeah, Prime's Wonder Spot is, is pretty OP. That's definitely uh, on my agenda of things to do. But firstly, we need to um, we need to get some bills up there to start mining around there and doing some like siege craft and stuff. Okay, so he's probably gonna run. I mean, he kills a couple towers. Teal is kind of stopped and given up on that. I don't know why I'm building these anymore. And we'll send you up this way. Any docks left? Any docks? Um, I know there was a neutral market here still chilling, which is I suppose better than nothing. Okay, so yeah, we're battling. You guys can go for the trebuchet legions. They're going to do their thing, and um, all's going to be calm in the realm. How are we doing? Yeah, we have a big-ass military right now. It's pretty strong. Okay. So I don't think there was any way for us to trade here. Prime also left us some walls, which is very nice of him. I mean, I could wonder again pretty soon because of my bank. It's, it's pretty jacked. So that would be a really funny idea. Um, all right, take you guys. Let's go up here. And, um, and yeah, prepare to party. So we're going to do this. Have the transport ship there. And enemies capturing sacred sites. It looks like, oh, that villager finally made it there. Holy shit. It's the journey. You notice how... I actually shouldn't say that because then Teal might start helping him. We can crush these English armies over and over. But unfortunately, we don't have any trade going down. Let's get an Obu setting up there. Yeah, I don't know. These armies kind of suck. The English armies here. All right, let's get you guys jump in there. Um, we leave these walls intact. Yeah. What do you think turns wonder threat level now is blue? He says, I don't know. I mean, I could attack the Byzantines, but I'm happy to chill. And um, up in the north, we want to get... Yeah, we're going to start migrating a lot of villagers up north. Okay, what do we got up here? So let's torch down these haggard walls, because they're kind of trolly. Um, I don't think there's a way around there, which is hilarious. We do have this, and we have a landmark. I don't know if it can weasel through there. Let's see. Uh, we need to get some more vills to set up siege workshops, because I'm hard stuck behind teal. Yeah, it would appear so. And then we can build that. Let's get some towers here. Um, you guys can start, once this is done, on the dreaded tower, like, in the choke point. Oh, man. This is going to be so funny. All right. So where can we get trade again? I mean, here is better than nothing, for sure. So let's get that. Um, we can actually pack you up and run you down here. And maybe, maybe get some decent trade. Yeah, we go, like, right there. That's a decent spot. Okay, cool. So we're scheming, you know, we're doing our evil schemes. We're doing evil villain things. Um, I would like to get... Oh, yeah, it can't even fit through there, can it? We can. 
I think I'm gonna leave a slight breach in the walls there. Just because I need to get my, like, hmm. No, you know what? It's fine. We could just go hide you, like, somewhere, like, over here or something. Oh, hold on. Actually, wait a second. We have a uh, trade here. Okay. That is great. And then, um, okay. Outstanding. Ah, shit. He had a ram up there. Okay. Blue left a ram up there. That's actually really bad. So, Blue might spill the beans if he's paying attention. Okay. So, you guys just get on the trees. My last stand place. Yes. Unfortunately, he just discovered it. He had an errant ram, so the fact that he forgot about a unit ended up helping him quite a bit. Um, wondering in this corner is still very viable, but wondering up here is for sure the way. Um, it's, it's quite good. He's on the red island in the corner. I am everywhere. Fear me, dude. Fear me. All right. We got a good standing army. Um, we have cannon towers here to deny the sacred play. You're just going to hide here. Landmarks? We can hide our other landmarks like amongst these towers, and I don't think anybody's going to want to mess with those. And, um, yeah. Are we being attacked by the Bizen memes? We are. How do we defeat this menace? Oh, that's not good. That's like the last thing you want to hear. You know, that's like the absolute last thing you want to hear. Okay, let's go up here. Let's like see if we can cripple the Byzantines before um, his ally can get to him. Okay, so let's get in there. Let's take down this. Go here, here, and here. The tower's like an SC2 player. That's really funny. So we're going to need a lot of wood for the war to come, obviously. Hui Hui Pao's there, and we need to get more artillery through. Oh, shit, he's got a big army. Wow. Okay, so we're going to try and take war to the Byzantines. It's going to be kind of ugly, but we're going to try. Looks like the Khan got melted. And um, are we going to get that keep down? Maybe. If he comes into my base, I do have a lot of towers. But he's pretty jacked. Okay, we got the keep down. So we've started on our conquest here. Let's go just have you guys gather some deer over here. Why not? All right, cool. So we got him, like, in a tower position. He's got a oh, full cataphract army, so that's really frightening, actually. Um, I don't know if we can take him. We're going to try. Mix in some spears, some hand cannoneers, some keshiks. We have plenty of gold to spare. And, um, yeah, we need to get all of our traders, so let's get the trades and do this. Hopefully the blue player won't help him as much. Okay, we can already see some treachery here. He's running out of steam a little bit, but, you yeah, know, he's got the nest of bees from the... Um, so we just like circle around, kind of threaten the nest of bees. We're going to threaten a raid into his base if he's just going to sit there. Okay, so that's good. And now we can take, pull you guys and have you rush the nest of bees. Cool, so he fell for the old bait. And you guys, um, let's load up. And start getting in there. He's all in on me. God, I can't believe I didn't see that little like goat's pass that he was able to get in with. Dude, that feels so bad. All right, so now we're going to go raid the hell out of his base. Uh, or at least try to. So let's get the Keshix running this way, and then you can go up here, buddy, and drop off. Hopefully that will occupy him a little bit. And um, we can set up infrastructure here, too. So we don't have a ton of wood at the moment, but we're going to set up a lot here just to be safe. Uh-huh. And then we can do a little bit of this, too. Okay. So how's the frontline fighting going? It's a little bit dodgy, but we do have decent elements here still. We found the farms, the olive farms. We're just going to keep running circles around his base just to troll the micro a little bit. And uh, yeah, the front line is, is definitely running out of steam a little bit on my end. All right, so let's go get some food, lads. We got 51 on wood. That's what she said. And um, how's this looking? Yeah, it's a little bit dodgy, but we can always pack up and run and move to the north. So even if this goes badly, we're still occupying them. Blue is up there. Ooh, blue found a landmark. Okay, interesting. Um, so let's run this thing down here. I think it's time to rush, he says. Well, we're going to see where they come from. Um, this landmark needs to make it back down here, if possible. I think that's where we need to hide the landmarks. We're slowly winning the fight versus the Bizen memes, I think. He's got a lot of these freaking random-ass artillery pieces here. He must have had so many saved up. Like, so many. All right, let's take this. Um, we need to get to the safety of the Empire. We have enough villagers here to get a wonder in a respectable amount of time. And we're going to get the cannon towers there, too. All right, great. So that's like a, a start to the plan. 
Byzantines have re, -re, -re rallied, so they're probably doing pretty pretty uh, good work here. Let's get you on the trees. And um, yeah, we're still just hustling to the south. Hopefully he doesn't discover too many of the alcoves here. But um, yeah, this is looking good. We're looking good. We're going to have our infrastructure up here, and we're going to be able to make gold-based units for a long time. All right. So let's get these guys to go uh, around the top. Probably not going to work out so well. Let's pull them back to the cannon towers. And um, great. So once they're done, we want to load up again and use that disgusting sacred site. I think he did. He get it. Uh, the step readout did go down here. That's that's kind of crappy. Okay, we need to like hide these guys. Yeah. Where is he going to go next? Okay. So these guys need to run. Let's run them down to the corner into the cannon helm's deep. Byzantine army's looking pretty good. So I think it's maybe time to pull the trigger here and just do this. Yeah. Because we have our, our new infrastructure being set up. Blue's going to get lured to the cannon towers. And we have the bills, so we can migrate up there. And um, let's fire it off. Yeah, it's this is really greedy. But, um, you know, I, that first blunder may cost me the game. But if it does, who cares? It's hilarious. That was worth every second. Those villagers got butchered. And he says, wait, wonder? Yeah, they weren't they weren't expecting the wonder again so quickly. My food bank's a little bit dodgy. But we need to get I need I need some wood too, man. It's so like we're hurting right now, boys. We're hurting. This military is not great. Okay, he got lured down to the cannon placements, which is good, so that's some free cavalry for me. Um and now we need to just get our armies up here. Yeah, just like screw everything else. Um we just gather our full armies in the north, and we have the degenerate wonder island. Because maybe... You saved me, Turin? Oh my god! How so? So Blue was gonna snipe him. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, how could I know that? How could I know that? Okay. Um, so our one landmark here is in danger. So let's do that, Matt. Pack you guys up and run. Ah, oh, we're full supply, so I can't pack up shit up. That's annoying. Alright, well, let's get you guys. Go repair that real quick. Our armies can run some interference. I don't know what Blue's doing. Yeah, we still have some trade going, which is cute. That is quite hilarious, though. So we have, um, where do we have our landmarks at the moment? I need to be more cognizant of this. All right, so you're going to go, like, chill in here. And um, up top, what do we got? A couple random workers, no problem. And you guys, uh, we need to get on the wood. We need to get some more, some, some more trees for the tree god. We got all you guys up here partying, so you guys can just help build these towers. And, um, yeah, Blue actually has a surprising amount of navy infrastructure, so let's go up and actually kill that if we can. Okay, we're going to go sweep sweep this entire naval naval position here, essentially. Okay, trade is still going. We got our corner wonder. Yeah, fight round two, I know. We can't afford to really go all in, sadly. No, because our food is, is not great. And they did... Oh, they actually left my base. So we can take you guys, go down here, and do this and this, and try and repair that. Okay, so let's get the horsemen to go take all down all these docks here. And then the rest of the army can go south and prepare to meet the uh, Byzantine resistance. Okay, so we got a gear here. Um, that's going to get repaired. It's been repaired, so let's take all of you guys up north. And um, where do we want to go? We can go down here, actually. And you can go there. Great. So he's building a na uh, navy up. He shouldn't be able to reach us. Um, and we are going to have cannon emplacements on most of these. So that's going to be on the way. We have the middle. Oh, he's uh, ooh, he's got the counter sacred. Yeah, I, I, I have a decent chance of stopping the counter sacred. A decent chance. Okay, so what do we got here? Byzantine army. Yeah, it's looking pretty sauced. Um, we can go ahead and start getting hand cannoneers, horses, and do this. So we have plenty of sneaky schemes for the sacred sites, I think. Yeah, he's got his navy here, unfortunately, but that's, it is what it is. What can you do? We got you guys. We got the Towers of the Gods. Random boats getting torched down. We try and take the Byzantine army. Let's get these hand cannoneers back. And, um, yeah, the counter sacred's in play here. Something's hitting us here. Oh, it's a hui hui pow. Okay. Let's get that. And what do we have here? Yeah, the counter sacred is going to be tricky. He does have that. Yeah, I mean, defending. I'm defending on a lot of fronts right now. It's, it's kind of hard. Um, you guys, let's get on the berry bushes up here. Screw it. And you nine need to do this. 
And for some reason, yeah, I couldn't pack up those damn TCs. Uh, delete or I won't help with Sacred. That's fine. I don't care. We're going to find a way to get one of those Sacreds back. So we can take our horsemen to the north and probably decap that one. And all it's going to take is one decap. All right. So let's take you, Kashix. Let's go see how well he's going to reinforce these. Um, and we can also try a little naval uh, landing as well. Okay. So we're going to pull. And if it comes down to it, I will, you know... Hide the last one. We got landmarks pretty well hidden. Our bank is okay. Um, let's get this, 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 this. Great. And then we repel that. And the riders are heading to the north to go test the waters there. And do we not have... Yeah, we, we have a lot of horseman production up here. But our passive income is just absolute shit right now. It's really not good. So this is going to be an incredibly difficult hold. Granted, we are at 11 minutes. Which ain't bad. The walls never got finished here. So we might be able to get north and stop this. We get that. Let's go like see if we can weasel that one too. And we'll try in a couple fronts here. Okay, so did we get the town center repaired? We didn't. No, he stormed that. Well played. Um, and food. Yeah, we got some food laying around here. So let's go get that, that camp. We're trying to waddle up that way. We're pressuring a couple different sacreds. I respect the uh, the deleting action. That's very smart. Okay, but I don't think he's got this wall, boys. So let's uh, wait till we get our full army there, and then we just decap that, and then we're, we're laughing. Right? But he's going to have a fat navy on us. Yeah, you can see he's got a fat navy here. The cannon towers are doing great, though. They're hanging in there like champs. Okay, so we got the decap there. We got the decap here. Okay, so we're fine now. It's basically just not going to go through. Yeah, we got the double decap. So now we just need to find a way to secure our island against these raids. Repair it! Repair it! Can they get the repair? Not going to happen. Alright, so we need to sweep this off now. Did we get that? No, we didn't. Did we get it? Oh my god, I might have screwed up there. Okay, hold on. Come on. Get the decap. Get it, baby. And we got the decap, so we're fine now. Great, we're golden. Alright. So now let's just sweep up the coast. And um, you guys are, yeah, the cannon towers are doing awesome. But we need to get more of you. Yeah, more towers wherever we can. I don't know where the Byzantines are coming from or what they're up to, but we should be able to sweep all this out. And we got the decap on him, which is pretty fat. And he's going to try and recap it, but I'm already below the 10 minute mark now, so. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, that looks good. So now we're just going to get hand cannoneers. We still have a little bit of income, some passive gold, but nothing special. <laughs> we're, we're gathering food from the bushes. That's how desperate we are here. Take care of this. And most of the boats have gone down. Great. So now you guys can just redo the towers. The Bizen memes are on the way. We have landmarks hidden down here, so I feel adequately secure. But we need to torch all these down. Can't let them be nice and cozy here. So let's get the guns there. Um, you guys can go skirmish with the Bizen memes. Uh huh? Uh, we don't have enough supply to unpack those. Okay, so it's just not gonna, not gonna go. Uh, more berry bushes? Sure, why not? Just whatever you can. And we did decap one sacred, so blunders are made on all sides, ladies and gentlemen. Blunders are made on all sides. All right, let's get the guns shooting that. Get you guys heading down this way, and um, we need to get these upgraded as well. So we're gonna get a couple cannon placements there if we can. Unfortunately, this little breach here, they could for sure, um, you know, get in. Food's a little bit dodgy, but we are at eight minutes, guys. We're all we are at eight minutes. I think building a navy is definitely a good idea. So let's do the. Um, do we have any vills up here? I think we do still. Yeah, great. So because we have wood, you know, we can do a little bit of wood action. And if we could just force them into that haggard choke point, it's going to be incredibly difficult. Prime did a good job, uh, as his name would infer, priming that for us. So he's creeping here. Is there any wood on the safer parts of the map? Uh, there is some down here, so let's go here and then do this. Great. So we need to get this dock down, so he has to completely rebuild. That would be the ideal situation. And um, now we can go and try and snipe some Byzantine cannons and stuff. Alright, so that's all taken down, so no more docks for him. And now we can go ahead and get you going and get some big chads out in the water, which are going to be really, really good. That fight looks like it's going okay. We got the hand cannoneers doing some scooting and shooting. Pull them in the cannons. Nice. And uh, basic horsemen are always solid on uh, defenses here. Spears also. Okay, so he's got nothing there. And the Battle Chads of Doom are going to be popping out. We can make some demos and arrow ships and whatnot. 
Okay, boys. Let's go. Let's get those defenders coming. His supply lines are just awful. Not not by any fault of his own, but he's just far away. And he doesn't appear to have forward infrastructure, so um, yeah, so that should be pretty good. So we just keep him there, and also the boats will be really degenerate for defending uh, choke points and stuff. Alright, great. So we defended that. Let's move down and fight again. Um, do we see any funny business here? No, it's just the same old. Yeah, he's just trading. Alright. So Chads, let's go. Take the Chads up north. We have piracy too, so we're actually going to get a little bit of money for that, which is great. Alright. Do Mongols have keeps? No, they don't. No. They do not, my friend. God, I wish I had more wood. That's what she said. Oh, got him. <laughs> God, I feel like the, the, there's been some elements of this game I've been doing well, but there's some just like, oh my god, so many just shithouse mistakes in this one. <laughs> like, not noticing that lane. Oh my god. Alright. Okay, so we got these chads. In case they, like, if they have to go through this choke and I just have a huge navy assailing them, that's gonna be really, really good for us. So let's pull back. Please. <laughs> wood, please. Thankfully, we're still getting wood down here, and we can go grab some here, too. No, no naval setup for you, buddy. None. None. We're gonna get these and take down these traps too. Meanwhile, let's get these horsemen, flank up, and then do this, this, and this. Okay, and we can get some mangoes and spring alds and stuff. I'm gonna start hurting on resources here soon. Uh oh. The English, the English Navy is looking extra angry. Mm, is he gonna be able to muscle me in the water? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, we need to build as many battle chads as we possibly can and dodge the trebuchet shots. I don't think those are his docks. Oh, they are his docks, actually. Okay, we need to get those before demo ships pop out. All right, so let's get you guys over the top. Prepare an ambush. In the meantime, um, have we stopped the English Navy? Not yet. That's not good. Now they're getting a little bit of meat going. Uh, what do we got? Five minutes left? Uh, we need to build some siege workshops back here. Just like the final stand. And um, now we got one, two, three, four. Okay, great. So that's going to be free right there. All right. So hand cannoneers, your archers, horsemen. We're basically out of dough. So what you see is what you got. Okay, let's get our Chad Navy and go sweep the north. All right. So we're going to go attack. Let's go hit the English here. We did get all the cannons, just about. No, not all of them. It looks like he managed to defend a couple of them. Well played. Yeah, well played to him. All right, so then we need to just sell and start getting mangoes back here. Defensive tools. You guys know the drill. Because soon I'm going to lose this ground here. We're not going to be able to hold this for much longer against the Wrath of Byzantium. We have a fat navy, though. It's pretty erect. Um, as a matter of fact, let's just get some arrow ships, too. All these docks are quite scary. Okay, so let's nail these down. He says I'm almost there, which is very true, but we do have the choke point of the gods and we can make some cannon towers back here, so. Aye, 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 this is gonna be a tight hold here. You need to get that transport ship down also. Soon he's gonna be through though, which is very dodgy. Okay, let's get that. And um, yeah, we need to move back now, I think. We're going to need to move back to the island and use them to defend here. Because this is pretty much a lost cause here, right? We got, what, three minutes left on the holds? Yeah, great. And then can we make some more of these, please? It's just going to have to be haggard mangoes in the choke point. That's what it's going to have to be. Uh, thankfully, he didn't actually fully snipe everything, so we can rebuild an army and flank him. Although food is basically just out, right? So, yeah, we're just out of food. Okay, team. This is going to be a hard hold here. It's going to be incredibly hard. Let's get behind the walls with the mangoes. Come down. If we can see if we can get those, if we can kill those cannons and stop him from penetrating Prime's glorious walls. Shout out to our boy Prime. And um, you know we're going to be good. All right, let's make more of you and gather up. England's going to be back soon. You know they're going to be back in business uh, in a moment here. Cannons. All right, it's Gotham's reckoning, dude. Good Gotham's Reckoning. All right, he's getting some of these down, but we do have a lot. So let's get you, you, and you. So one, two. Oh, yes. That is so wrecked. Oh, yes. No more cannons for you. <laughs> yes. Now we sail back up to England. And we just use these horses to inter uh, intercept the Byzantine cannons. 
the hell is that, a trade ship? Are you serious? Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? So we got a lot of mangoes here too. We got to make sure no landing force happens. We're just going to use these guys to body block. Uh, he shot my cannons, but I'm oiling up some more, he says. Uh-oh, so now he's got a bit of a navy here, doesn't he? Okay, do we have any markets left? I'm pretty sure we have Silver Tree. Okay, so yeah, he's going to kill pretty much my naval presence. Um, let's lure him to the shores where maybe we can get a little bit of help here. A minute 55, boys. This is going to be a tight hold. It's going to be a very tight hold. Uh, Alright, so yeah, we need to keep tabs on cannons. Does he have any in here? He doesn't. He's making rams, which is good. So yeah, we're going to lose this naval fight. Let's lure him to the shore. See if we can get the mangonels to help out a little bit. And also the villagers can repair, so they can repair the ships. Okay. Horses are just, like, watching for reinforcements. And can the mangoes reach anything? They can't, sadly. They cannot. Uh, do we see any cannons coming in? No, he's just going for battering rams, which probably is going to take too long, to be honest. Okay, let's make some more uh, mangoes. Okay, let's get these mangoes back. They're not going to do any good in there. And we've been flushed out of the sea. So, yeah, we got the rams coming. Several layers of walls and some Mongol Towers of Doom. Okay, let's attack with these mangoes, see if we can sink some of these ships. Uh-oh, I see that. I see that English fleet coming there. 57 seconds, man. That's going to be tight. Um, let's get you guys up, too. You need to go all hands on deck. Let's see if we can just pull these bills here and uh, flank here, maybe. Try and take distract him a little bit. Oh, we got one ship down. He did get some here. You need to get that trebuchet. Get the trebuchet. Get the trebuchet, lads. Come on. Come on. Towers, towers, towers. Get the trebs. Okay, we killed the landing force to an extent. He still has some attackers here. And do we have any bills left to repair? We do. We have some. Okay, so we need to get you guys up now. Let's get on this. You guys circle around the back. I should have had a Wolo low ready. This is really bad. See, this is where the Wolo lows would be super clutch, right? All right, come on, team. 17 seconds! We got repairs. He managed to harry us quite a bit with those knights. The fact that we got the trebs is pretty big. Sweet Jesus! Hold on! Hold! <laughs> he says you can do it! Oh, uh, repair! Ah! <laughs> we got it. Ah, oh, GG. Jesus. <laughs> Deleting all our eco or all our military, you know, one not noticing. Dude, that first hold would have been so easy if we didn't, if we noticed that goat's path. Oh, we just had to make, make it so hard for ourselves. Oh, man. And Mongols can't normally build walls, but our boy, uh, our boy Prime hooked it up. You know, he got, he got the sweet walls for us here. <laughs> oh, man, GG, dude. Sigma, preserve us! Mongols are so good in FFA. They're so good, man. Oh, man. Let's look at the resource count of everyone. Uh, oh, man, yeah, we, we crushed it on gold. Yeah, we crushed it on gold. All right, I'm going to un unbind that freaking delete key. Because something in my, my keystrokes is hitting it, and it's it's literally almost costing me games. All right, so let's get that bullshit out of here. All right, so where would that be? That would be in, uh, not graphics, game, would it be, not in UI, controls. Okay, so delete, delete. We need to find delete, right? Does anybody know where I would actually find this? Select all units, um, reset camera, cycle through, cycle. Yeah, what a match, dude. That was a great match. It was a really good one. Game, UI, graphics, audio, online? No. I've never actually like messed with my hotkeys. Wouldn't it be in control somewhere? View and remap controls, okay. So game, so it'd be delete. Okay, so it's not in there. Unit selection, building selection. Return all villagers. Yeah, we don't want to change that stuff. It's the view button. So close. We got it, man. It's in view and map. View and remap. Cancel all items in production is N. Cancel all. Focus last attack. Toggle. Exit current. Does anybody know what subsection of this it would be under? Select all units. Cycle. Delete. Select all villagers. Select all idle military. Probably in here somewhere. Right? Uh, view and remap, yeah, under controls. No. Building selection, um, let's select all. Select all markets. Yeah, there's so many things that, man, I could be doing. I could be so much, so much better at this game if I knew all this. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Send me an invite when you're ready. Sounds good. Sounds good. So whose birthday is it? It's, it's Arena. Arena, it's your birthday, right? 
Um, okay. So in control groups. Yeah, it's for control groups. Communication camera, observer, and replay. Building selection, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Building selection, select all ec economic buildings. No, I'm, it's not even economic. I'm deleting my military buildings. Uh, grid keys, no. Okay. It's Arena Emperor slash Nanyori's birthday. Got it. <clears throat> uh, Sai, do you wanna do you wanna play with your brother on on their birthday or or because uh, you guys are brothers, right? Because uh, I'm happy to invite both of you if you guys want to have a, a, a sibling team for the 2v2v2. Or I can play with, play with your brother as well. I, I'm just offering it as uh, as well. You deleted units, then swapped to select all buildings. Is that really how that worked? And the delete applied to the buildings. That's weird. Really? That seems like it shouldn't work that way. Huh. Yeah. That's all right. I'll leave that up to him. I think he'd like to play with you. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, in this case, um, yeah, whatever. We're, we're going to look into that after stream. So we just need to wait for Arena to get back, and then we should be fine. The family that stays together, I know. Uh, Ottomans are a Civ I'm not very good at, but they are one that's very fun to play. They're, they're, I don't like playing Civs that can be politic, politicked against an FFA too much, because you saw what happened to Prime there, right? You know, you, but to be fair, Prime literally built a wonder as we were attacking him. He was ready for it. And if we didn't plan ahead, that was the correct play for the entire lobby. It happens when you select units to delete and then go to the buildings before the units delete. Got it. Okay, so I just need to get out of the habit of that. Sounds good. All right, so second game of the night's going to go down here. And uh, thank you guys all for joining. It's been really fun so far. Let me find Arena, and we just need to get Arena in here. Did I do a gigantic map? I felt like it was gigantic. No, large. Let's go ahead and do the Gobby Desert. Yeah, get a little different biome action in there. Okay, so online friends. I have a lot of friends here. So I just need to find Arena that's allied. I see a lot of the usuals waiting to strike. I'll open it as soon as I get this um, player in here. Arena. Um, so Arena, uh, before we start, I, I offer you this. If we do a 2v2v2, you can play with your brother. Yeah, I know you're an Ori in here. You can play with your brother in the team game. I can invite you both, or I can be on your team. You you choose what you want. Is it going to be the sibling uh, Valentine's romance? <laughs> or do you want to team up with me? Let me know, and um, regardless, we'll we'll make it happen. Because I know, I know you and your brother probably like to play together as well. So whichever you prefer, whichever you prefer. So this is going to be a Team FFA game as well. All right, so I just need to find Annie here, and then we should be good to go. All right, invite to match. All right, so you're going to be on my team then, Arena. And um, we will nanny, and we'll get everything else uh, all set. We'll invite your brother, too, just because it's your birthday. We'll keep it in the family. We'll get, we'll get both the crew in there, and then we're going to do this. Okay, so we got Sign here. So I'm going to be on Team 1. And Nanny, uh, I sent you the invite, so you just need to accept that. And then we'll open up the lobby for everybody. All right, let's do it. So team up with me. Happy birthday to your family, man. We got Cute Kitty, Sperare, Ionimus, Tron, and Contende. Very solid lobby, very solid. So Nanny Yori, what do you want to play? Secret Sauce from Angle One Rico. I think, we, I think we're okay for now. Keep, keep Surprise me with it in a game. Go with the Byzantines? Oh, I was thinking about Byzantines. Uh, Nanny, what do you want to play is the question. So Nanny is playing random. Yeah, let's see. Because a lot of these players won't be on mic, so we probably won't be on mic. <laughs> Who wants to, to partner with the Japanese player? Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So do we play... Do we play Byzantines? We play them all the freaking time. We could do Ottomans. We could do Rus. Um, HRE sounds fun, too. Let's do a little Sigmar. We, we've we've done so many Byzantine games that I want to go for some HRE. HRE for me. All right. Let's do that. And Nanny can go whatever they want. So team up. Team up, lads. And let's go from there. Well, the last lobby was scary, too. We had Quill and Prime, and I think we had four Conqueror players in the last lobby. Myself, Prime, Quill, and um, I think there was one more. 
Remember Jeff said Ian? Yeah, <laughs> Theodore is watching. All right, I'm busting out China. Hey, right on. That's a good team. So two and two, five and five, eight and eight. So Yonimus and Tron. That's a Tron. I believe is a, a diamond player. Yonimus, I think, is close to conqueror level. I don't know if they play one v one, but Yonimus is very good. Um, even though maybe they don't play ranked. I, I played many games with Yonimus, and I think they have the caliber of a, of a diamond door um, in that ballpark player. Yeah, very strong. All right, so teams together, reveal and elimination. Uh, mega random and I'm busting out China. All right, let's uh, do it. Good luck. Have fun Screenshotting lobby in case it crashes which it always does because it's uh, you know, just the way it works HRE is good. They're, they're pretty luck. good in FFA. Have they're fun. not like S tier or anything But they're a good mid tier faction that can be surprisingly good because they have culverins Culverins are very strong. They can make the difference in a lot of late game fighting and their armies are okay as well. I know we had well dandy we almost won the game where you desynced we still almost won that that was really funny all right so hre in china so late game chinese uh obviously in 2v2 games it's cool because even if you're poor and don't have gold in late game you can still trade with your allies so it's a little bit yeah teams are together yeah they should be they should be good luck have fun uh so japan and uh order we have ottomans and, and english that's a scary team this team's going to be a tyrannical late game team for sure. Cute Kitty, I think, is a conquer level player, at least somewhere in that ballpark. Um, Yonimist and Jushis, wow. So some people went really sweaty here. We see some super sweat sieves. Yeah, but HRE is good. If I can get like four or five relics, even three, we're going to be uh, be able to save up and you know get a wonder eventually, probably. Yeah, Mongols are just S tier, I think, because of the fact you don't need stone to build a wonder. Like, you can just... Any other Civ would not have been able to back-to-back -back wonders like that, but Mongols don't care. You, if you just have good baseline resources, you can just uh, go bananas. All right, so we're about to load up when Cute Kitty finishes here. Yeah, Relics are going to go quickly, but HRE can get the second, fast cast, second fastest castle in the game. All right, so let's do this and do a little bit of exploration. Uh, gonna go FC and get Relics. All right, so the die is cast. I'm letting my ally know what I'm going to be doing, and uh, yeah, from there we can we can do our do our business. Okay, so let's do this. Usually with HRE, you're going to have a little bit more on um, on gold. In the beginning, you're going to have like four. Oh man, we're not finding too many sheep though. This is a little bit frightening. Uh, is there water on the map? Okay, I see a pond. Um, haven't found any sheep yet. Nanny knows what's going on. Nanny Nanny's a, a champ, you know. He's played many of these games. One of us should have probably gone French, to be honest, if we really wanted to sweat and try and win this. It's just like, French are just so good in this uh, in this old format. I know Nanny's a pretty good French player, too. Someone gets the Diamond. Yeah, Diamond players can compete with Conqueror players in an FFA, for sure. A lot of what determines, like, Conqueror versus Diamond players is, like, early game efficiency and, like, feudal skirmishes. Like, I find that Diamond players can usually macro on par with a lot of Conqueror players, but they're... Conqueror players have a better early game, <clears throat> oftentimes. Not always. Like myself, as a player who's reached, you know, I would say pretty close to comp two. I haven't gotten it yet, but we've been close. Um, my feudal age sucks, but my late game is good. Like, I suck at feudal skirmishes, man. I'm just so haggard at them. Uh, so we got water down there. Unfortunately, we don't seem to have any near us. Let's see if we have any here. But I just got to go FC and get relics. So, yeah, Nanny's doing that. Um, it looks like this could be some water over here. Uh, he's got all his sheep. Pretty good sheep haul for our boy. And we got those guys motivated with the power of Jesus. We need to start planting our Aachen, too. Where's the Aachen going to go? I could do a very weird Aachen over by this deer camp in these trees. Um, that would hit three primary resources, whereas the other Aachens are a little bit Bronzodia. I might actually do that. I might actually do that. Okay, so still scouting around. Not too many sheep. So I think I like this Aachen idea, actually. Because then it's going to hit... I mean, here I can hit golden berry bushes, but then I can hit wood as well. Ooh. There was a lake behind you. Feels bad. <laughs> yeah, that always feels bad when you miss out on water. Let's see if there's one up in this corner, too. But yeah, I'm going to be a little bit slower to castle age, unfortunately. Okay. Let's head over here, and we can do the Aachen Chapel right there. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be the way. And that's going to hit both of those, right? So that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't hate that. 
Okay, so we'll keep those guys going. And we do see water in the corner, although it looks more like a pond more than anything. And we can get you down here and we can set up on the trees. Yes, like so. Not finding too many sheep. It's okay though, we're, we're doing a little bit of jank. So we're gonna build the Aachen on the gold. So we won't have to build another camp. And um, you guys can come across and help power build this. Okay, so we see the first team that's gonna be Sparare on the English. Hopefully there won't be any Strelboro rushing. That would be pretty unfortunate. This is a little bit jank what we're doing, but it should be okay. Yeah, English King plays. Nothing beats the Haggard English King plays. Those are those are just masterpieces. The English King is just so janky in my opinion. All right, let's get you guys on wood for a second. And get you here, and get you here. We've gotta make sure we don't run out of food. I think we're gonna be fine. We do need to make sure we can get a house. Yeah, this Aachen's pretty prime though, because we just need to knock all the deer into the Aachen and that's gonna secure our food. Uh, since we're not fishing, but I will go set up docks at some point, but FC relics is the most important thing, like for HRE, sustainability in a game. It does give up a little bit of early action, but overall I think it's gonna be worth. Alright, so that looks fine. You build another house over here, so let's do that and do this and this. Now we need to start knocking the deer in. And once you guys do that, cool, so that's perfect. So we just need to like corral these a little bit, get get angles at which um, you know, they're gonna be able to party. Great, so that's gonna be two. And that's another one, so let's come down under here. We do get the house done, outstanding. And um, now we can get on the gold as well. So we're gonna move you up. There we go, and then we can shoot it. Okay, not quite enough, but we can come back for that one later. Cool. Yeah, so, so far that's a pretty good little spot. We might wanna wall off here. We do get that deer. And um, this one is close enough to get. So then we come down under this way and you guys go jump on gold and um, cool. So now we have a pretty healthy Aachen. It's definitely going to be a fast castle. Question is, are we going to get attacked? Oh, I should have chased that one. Damn, screwed that up. No, well, let's go around the top and get this deer. And you come over here and get on the deer. And the power of Jesus is going hard, dude. He's coming. The Lord and Savior is ready. All right, so let's chase this deer. We can just shoot it once and it should be close enough at that point. All right, outstanding. So what you want to do typically is go um, stable in this case. Sprari has gotten feudal age. Um, they could be on water. We're seeing all the relics. Nanny, nanny, can you? Uh, nanny can cover the politics for us. Okay. And uh, we're gonna go double stable because that's very strong. Double stable fast castle is like is the strategy that I think is really good. Need to play English? Yeah, England's great. I've been losing with them in 1v1 a little bit. I used to be very good at English in 1v1, but I've been... I don't know. I think the meta of maps isn't good for 2TC playstyle, which is what I really like. So, um, that could be it. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, we got a little bit on wood. Um, we should be able to go age up here in a second. Not everyone has water, but a lot of people do. We see all the relics, so let's go scout to see if there's going to be any aggression coming. That's what I need to worry about. 100%. Building the house over here. We got the food going pretty well. Four of you guys. Let's go jump onto the food there. Looking great. And yeah, we're close to an age up now. A lot of goodies in the middle, man. A lot of goodies. No, oh, dude, Aachen Chapel is such a good landmark. It literally carries. It literally carries the faction. Um, how's Nanny doing? Nanny's uh, yeah, looking great. Looking like there's no drama. And we got that house going, which is good. So that will get us all set. And yeah, it's not a Zhushi's castle timing, but it's in the ballpark, man. It's pretty good. It's in the ballpark. Okay, so we just need a like a food turn in here. We don't see any longbows being made, which is outstanding. So that's good news for us. And um, we'll grab the woodworkers, do this. Tron's isolated, he says. Oh, he's on the other side of a river, okay. So we'll head up this way and prepare to start building. And we'll grab a couple of you guys, turn in and come up here. All right, so let's get this and build the Ragnitz Cathedral kind of in the back a little bit. And uh, now we just kind of, you know, get ready to party, man. Get ready to grab some relics. You want to keep some on food and, um, yeah, you want to keep some on food if you can. See it. Um, all right. I think big issue is Pink and his ally. Yeah, I'm just kind of, you know... Battle plans with my ally a little bit. We got nine there. We're going to have a second prelate coming out. And um, we'll also have uh, two knights popping out. So that's the timing you usually want to get. 
Yeah, it's the timing you usually want to get here. So let's go kind of explore down here a little bit. And you can go down here, buddy. And um, now you are going to go down this way. So let's go get this relic. We'll get the close ones first. I'm not going to build horsemen. I could build some horsemen. Just to secure the initial relic grab, and then we'll build some knights when the uh, time comes as well. Yeah, we see Nanny doing some good scouting around the map. A very valiant ally, for sure. A noble champion. And um, from here, we probably need to figure out another food source. I think we still have a couple deer by the base, but it's not much. We might need to actually do this and then just go over here and unfortunately get some Walmart berry bushes. All right, so let's keep looking, and you can go here. We're being attacked. I love it. Did we grab the relic? We did not. Okay. Up here you go. Let's get another one here and do this and come back and back. So we have these guys. Um, we're being attacked there, which is pretty funny. And then we need to go here. Get the relic there. Um, build some houses. Let's get the house going here. And now we get this guy. So we're going to hit this thing here. Um, we got eight workers. Let's get on lumber because we need to get military infrastructure now. And I could switch into a uh, fishing economy, which wouldn't be a bad idea per se. Shaolin Monk's trying to get it. Ooh, I just barely beat the Shaolin to that. That was really good. Okay, so let's uh, escort our boy. He's being hunted. Um, we need to go camp this relic. I need to get at least three. You know, at least three. And here. Okay, back onto the gold you go. Let's get a couple more knights coming out. And yes, this is outstanding. This is really good. Okay, so the English are defending. We see Wololo's going down to the south side. First relics are being brought back. We need to go make sure we secure as many as we possibly can. And um, uh, do we want to go F Fast Castle? I think we need to hit wood like really hard. All right, buddy, you go here. That relic just got jacked. So at the very least, I'm going to get three. Um, let's go down here and see if we can camp this one. If I can catch the guy who just took this relic, that's going to be good. I think it was Tron. Because Tron's playing Jushi, so obviously there's going to be some relic action there. Okay, I think that one's going to be the one that's getting contested, so let's go down here, get this, and come back. And now, buddy, you can go over um, down here and just grab a sacred site. Yeah, we need to get, like, four. That would be, like, the power fantasy scenario. Okay, so from here, okay, we just take this guy down. The knights will do it. That's good. So that's going to cut Tron off. And that's going to be a relic for us. Great. And let's get that back to the old church here. And then we go down this way and get you. And uh, that one got taken, so I think he went this way with it. Yeah, most of the relics are kind of kind of gone, but let's have you guys defend for now. Which way did he go? Did he go that way? Did he go this way? He could be taking it to his allies' base, which would be very smart. Uh... Okay, well, at least we got four. We got four, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we got two in there. We're going to go grab another sacred site here in the meantime. And uh, now we just kind of prepare to go up to the next stage. So we're going to get this, build some houses. Yes. We can go fast imp here. Okay, so we got the landmarks going. He must have run to the protection of his allies. Okay, he's hunting this guy. So let's get this. Yeah, so we got four... Which is pretty damn good with the Jushi in the game, I would say. Okay. We're going to grab a sacred site also, just because it's free money if nobody stops us. And make some disgusting looking farms there. Because that's, that's how we roll, baby. That's how we roll. We're going to need a market to bounce our economy also. And um, thankfully, we still have a good wood eco. Looks like he's hunting me. So we should be able to get this guy. And Friar Chuck's coming here to get the other sacred site. I'm just going to get them both. Okay, walls are coming up from Nanny. Um, Sacred Sight's going to be contested for sure. So we're going to peace out and uh, get these relics back to the Promised Land. That is the idea. All right, so let's get you, do this. You can build a little bit more. Oh, there's like a, like a legit bog here that I can't build in. Okay. Yeah, we just need to get that food, man. Let's get in the base. Oh, the berry bushes are already being hit pretty hard, so let's update that. Okay. Got, uh, got f four. Not bad. Yeah, not bad, not good. It's it's acceptable. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And um, this one can go down here because we're going to set up a little defensive tower to kind of protect the land. 
Nice, every team has a relic sieve, so it was a race. Yeah, it was a bit of a race, wasn't it? Okay, so we got the market. So now we can kind of buy our way up. Let's get the food gathering upgrades. Start slowly buying. Um, we're going to go... Hmm. We're going to go with... So he's China. I'm going to go Swabia. Swabia there. Yeah, I need... Because I've. I, when you go fast castle, that that's how you compensate, right? Okay, I got two sacred sites, and if they just let me have those, that's a ton of free money. People often underestimate that in early game. Okay, I'm coming over to help with those monks. Looks like they're getting a little bit crazy. And um, we want to get you guys to turn in and go up here and do a little Swabia action. And we're going to make some more knights. <laughs> knights of the realm! So that'll delay our age up a tiny bit, but it's okay. We still have good gathering. We got regnets, and um, yeah, we're on our way over now. We have a we have a, a formidable army. It's not amazing, but it'll do, pig. Okay, so let's start getting some walls of the gods. So we'll do this and this. Hopefully, Nanny has like a standing army. Okay, so that that spring old tower is gonna help. Let's get you on the wood line. And now we can age up, so we're going to start on the age up here. We're going to do the swabby on the corner here. Cool. And um, now we need houses, please. And you can do this. And you come over here and get on that wall. And then eventually we're going to, you know, get stone walls in our whole empire. And, oh, we didn't drop this one off. Okay. See what I'm saying, though? How nobody is denying the freaking, um, what's it called? Nobody's denying the sacreds. Like, nobody. They're just all chilling out. Looks like China's going to be building some sort of walls as well. So, one and one. Okay. Yeah, four relic is pretty good. It's not like, you know, outstanding or anything, but it's certainly respectable. We have a lot of passive gold income. Uh, but I'm going to be hitting stone pretty hard here soon. So we need to get this. Do that. Okay, so sacred sites are being decapped. That's going to be denying us some of the goodies that we've, uh, we've squabbled for. Okay, so looking fine. And when you guys finish this, you go here, here, and here. And we're going to be imp in a second with tithe barns. Um, we could be vulnerable from an attack from the south. Definitely need to get some, like, outposts. No, no, that's too ugly. we got to fix that one. Could have a couple of these guys go, like, scouting the border to see what that looks like. Okay, back to the wood line. Friar Tuck can motivate them with the power of Jesus. And, uh, man, we have a lot of gold. We have a lot of gold. So Sai has gotten castle age. The fact that somebody just got castles, we're getting imp, is uh, pretty good, I would say. Okay, so print some villagers out of there. Friar Tuck, you're doing great, buddy. Once we get some stone, we can start to really get this empire going. Okay, men at arms. Men at arms are just the coolest unit that you can make with HRE, so, you know, you gotta make them. Uh, I'm thinking in like 10 mins, we crush. Uh, south before auto gets big it's just an idea just an idea just throwing it out there but 10 minutes to prepare all right so double that cool so sacred sites are now being taken by the other team and uh we got raiders coming in i don't know if they're gonna be able to get too far do they want it was the question we do have the walls coming up on the other side so it should be fully secured here um, although yellow is raiding us pretty good, but yeah, if we if we attack yellow, they're gonna call it out and then we'll probably get teamed after that, I would suspect. Okay, let's get all the eco upgrades and get the army tactics going. Yeah, upgrades looking good. Yellow's doing a little bit of cheeky raiding on us, which is fun. I like that. And um, yeah, we should be able to get more knights out, and we can even get them elite. Yeah, why not? We can get elite knights. All right. So he's got little little adorable raids from every angle you could possibly imagine. And um, now we need to go secure some gold if we can. Yellow's here. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're ready to party when he gets in. We're here with a big force. He's going to do a run by and be able to poke me a little bit. Um, but yeah, should be okay. So let's move out and then we can attack here. And you guys get one of you to come repair these walls. And the other of you can come and... Redo this. Okay, kind of cheeky. I mean, he's going to get in, but he's probably going to lose all those knights. Maybe kill, like, two villagers, but I have the villager printer, so it really doesn't matter. And then um, you guys can come down here. 
Alright. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have you guys here to party. And um, soon we just get a keep down here. Okay, get some spears. A couple of you guys come this way. He's gonna get real sweaty with these raids. You know, real sweaty. We have that nice spring alt tower though. So it should be fine. Yeah, you know, walls are rebuilt there. And um, I don't think we need to worry too much about this. So let's go around here. And now I think we need to sauce out the... Um... Okay, let's get the houses. Uh, make sure the upgrades are still coming along. Army, marching drills, all that goodness. He kind of makes it a little bit far, which is cool. But now we're going to secure ourselves and get our keeps and all that. And, yeah, I mean... Okay, you're going to get like two villagers. Um, yeah, we get that. And uh, we might need to actually, if the Zhushi player is going to just be getting mad aggressive with us, we might need to do something about it. Uh huh. Yeah, we see that. We see that little tower there. Yeah. And uh, the raids have been dispatched. Yeah, we hunted them down, so despite all the micro, we ended up hunting them. And let's get a uni. And yeah, start getting all the upgrades, looking good. He's still going. Look at him, man. He's champing. He, he really doesn't want to lose those guys. All right. So now we can start producing down here. Get all the upgrades that we could possibly hope and dream for. He lost all those knights for a couple wood fences. And um, we're going to need to get like a... I'm thinking, yeah, what is the influence of that? So we definitely need a little bit more farm eco down here. But it looks like, yeah, it's like a bog. We can't like place in it. That's weird. Four, um, and then five, and then should be good. Okay, so we killed all the raiders, which is great. Um, let's go get that stone, and then we can start uh, securing our empire here. We have the imperial advantage, but not for long. But yeah, just stabilizing ourselves here first is going to be very good. And um, yeah, so let's get some walls of the stone type. So we'll get you guys. Um, looks like there's a natural tree line there. Okay, so that and that. It's a very nice little safe spot that we should be able to kind of keep safe. And we do this. Let's wall up before we attack. Okay. You're fine. Tron's not playing around. He's not, dude. He's he's the dreaded Jushi, too. Jushi is terrifying. Okay, one, two. And then we need a little bit more gold. We're Okay. Let's wall up before we attack. So my ally is walling up as well, which is excellent. So we're going to be pretty safe. And uh, I'd also like to get like a keep here because the the best place to raid against HRE obviously is the farms, right? The uh, the sweet, sweet farm economy here. So we need to um, find a way to get around here and secure that too. And then another one in the base probably wouldn't be a bad idea just to, you know, stop against intermittent raids and, you know, things like that. So we're just going to slap down a couple keeps. Uh, let's go ahead and get army tactics because that's what we're mainly going to be focusing on here And you guys have finished off stone. So make sure um, you build a gatehouse here gatehouse if you can So I can get to mid Yeah, he hasn't built one yet But oh looks like we can waddle through there. Okay Very good All right, so now we need to hit wood a little bit harder to make sure we can build all of our infrastructure uh, Fully upgraded and then we just do the the do host the Swabia villagers, um, some are motivated, some aren't. Yeah, we can get on the woodline here too. Okay, so we got army tactics coming, all those sweet upgrades. Let's get a couple of you guys doing this. 31 on food is probably pretty good. Walls are coming up. Um, we can get a gatehouse here. And these villas are going to just hustle to the middle and do that. Yeah, I see that. So I will set up a market um, over here. Good idea. See, something I'm not thinking of. I'm not used to the team games as much. Okay, are we under attack here? Oh, it looks like the English are poking us with some longbows or something. Oh my god, look at Orange. Look at it, Eonimus, too. Alright, so we're going to get down there and try and help the, the crew out. Hopefully we don't have to retreat here. That would be unfortunate. But yeah, we should be able to force them back. Yeah, we might want to just play defensively. I feel like um, attacking the south is going to be foolish. Because... Hmm. South attack may be bad. Seems people are eyeing us. Yeah, it does seem to be the case, doesn't it? Okay, so we got trade going, so that's going to be really good for my ally who doesn't necessarily have all the um, OP kind of elements that I can get. Let's get you motivating up there as well. And now I need to do this too. 
Yeah, also no to sacreds altogether mid, yeah. It's a really good eye. It's a good eye there. You're seeing you're seeing all the all the schemes. Alright, so we got that gold. Um Nanny's gonna start trading, I would imagine, cross trade. And um we do get a lot of relics. Is there somebody in our base then? That was my allies nest to bees. We do want to take advantage of the advantage we have though. Of like being Imperial and like being teched out. Cute Kitty's still only age three for some reason. I don't know if there's any other conflict. Squashing Tron quickly may be worth. Yeah. We'll uh we'll build up a little bit more before we 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 you know scheme any of that out. My passive gold is really good though. It's very, very good. Okay, so we got that going. We have a little wall here. Buy that and get a cannon tower there just in case. And uh, my gold income isn't too good. Okay, let's grab up mid. Okay, I'm ready to support. Uh, ready to support mid. I do have elite knights and hand cannoneers and a pretty good quality army, so I feel that we can do okay here. Aachen, um food per minute is going to be only 1800 at the moment, so that's not the best. Let's get you do this. And um, we will support Nanny and take in the middle of the map. We got to be a good a good teammate here. All right, what's our eco at? 129? That's more than enough. We don't need more eco than that, that's for sure. Um, England is... We're getting constant attack notifications from the English. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for the not so... This has been a good stream. This has been a really fun one. We've had some wild-ass games today. All right, so you guys need to build those. And then you guys build some um, siege workshops for the culverins. All right, so our armies are pretty good. I would imagine, um, yeah, lead spearmen, crossbowmen, not quite upgraded yet. Playing OG China, so yeah, we're gonna get our gates pounded over there. Honestly, there's no easy call here, man. There's no easy call as it pertains to decision making. Uh huh. Okay. Seven, eight, and nine, and then we'll do this. And that should be good. Then we also need to get a little mill over here too for better drop off. Okay. Tough call. First team we hit will squeal for sure. Stamping out. Stamping auto is big threat, but so is sushi. Yeah, we. it's kind of like part of me wants to just be very relaxed about it. I need to get tithe barns by the way too. Should have gotten that a while ago. They will. I think it should be Tron. As you see, he can rebase. Li less likely to squeal and separate it from teammate. Yeah. We got to be extra evil about it, right? Okay. So we got the supply lines. Uh, yellow slash OJ. I'd rather fight the Ottomans. Okay. Hmm. So whose team is he on? So yellow and OJ. I'd rather... So Contende is with uh, team four. So he's with Sai. Sai is what color? Purple. Contende's down there. Hmm. Yeah, we can karate chop uh, yellow soon. Let me get some bombos. Alright. Okay, let's get that farm eco nice and sauced out. I think we're more or less fully upgraded. With the biology upgrade, and I'm gonna need to cut down my eco a little bit. I'm a little bit too hard in the pain on that, so let's uh, have you guys turn in. I have good passive gold, so we can just turn this in, and then um, we can we can get a bigger military. All right. So in the meantime, you guys keep clearing out trees. Let's get horsemen upgraded. I think we have good enough production. Unfortunately, this is eventually gonna fall down. Could get a villager to go repair that. Court architects will help with um, our defenses too. Yeah, but my eco is pretty sick now. It's good. I have good passive food. Yellow, yellow needs to go. If we can just get like a do host, uh, like a really mean do hosting going, that would be that would be great. So I don't think I need culves quite yet. Let's get some knights in there just to have a really gold heavy army. Yeah, I think we're fine. Hey, thank you again, Houdini. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> He's going to squeal. Yeah, we'll see about that. All right, we need to go grab stone on the map too. That's going to be pretty big. My passive gold is 1500 with my relics, so that's quite nice. Um, so, you ready? Yeah, we see that. 
All right, so let's get down and grab some stone. Oh, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait a second. What the hell is this? What is that? What the hell? What in tarnations? What is this, like, random freaking crossbow legion? What is he even doing here? So he's just going to kill one of my mangoes and lose, like, 50 units. Okay. Well, okay, now that certainly makes attacking him feel a little bit less bad. You know, he's, he's trying to trying to be raid us. I don't know what that... What was that army even doing over there? Okay, let's go. So, yeah, we go squash yellow real quick. You know, see how that unfolds. Let's go ahead and get a keep here just to be safe. Secure those resources. And um, we can do the mango upgrade. That was the upgrade for that for the longest time I never got. It's pretty funny. It's like a running gag on the channel. I just never get the mango upgrade. Um, and for you, let's go ahead and do this because this is just going to be annoying forever. So we're just going to get that wall off here. So yellow is going to have a hard time reinforcing his ally. I'm stealing sacred sites from them too. All right, so we take that as a declaration of war, I suppose. All right, take you guys down here. Do this. Let's get in. It's about to get real ugly in Yellow's base. It's about to get real ugly. Once we get in, it's, there's going to be a reckoning. Uh-oh, here we go. Nice, nice, well played. Good flank, good flank. That is Yellow's night army, and we are going to intercept that, no problem. Nice, nice, we got ahead of it. So he's going to lose all those knights for almost nothing. He's just going to take just brutal damage here. Yep, he lost all those knights, and now we're into the cookie jar. So now we go start raiding his base with the knights while my ally, um, you know, helps me here. All right, we need a little bit more gold income, though, for sure. We're kind of hurting. So we see all the villas up there. Let's go harry them. Um, this fight is good, so let's get you and you. And uh, my HRE troopers are just extra jacked, big, angry German dudes. And, um, yeah, now we get this get some of the officials going we dive the eco down here where we can we need to cripple his eco before his ally can get here yeah here comes his ally so his ally is going to come and um i might be able to fight off the ally for a minute oh no not for too long all right let's get the bombards in there do as much damage as he possibly can before homies get back and then um yeah we're gonna try and get some bombards to just knock down a keep or something okay yeah we are we are needing to gather up again come on bombards knock down that keep yeah, I see it. Do as much damage as we can. Yeah, the raids are going well. He does manage to muster some defenders here. Okay, so let's get in there and get, start spamming out some horsemen. We need to get our horsemen fully upgraded too. Matter of fact, let's get in there. All right, so we engage. Our knights are still doing well, and um, his eco has been hammered really hard, like really hard. He's got grenadiers gathering, and he's got a bunch of relics in the old Shaolin Monastery as well. Okay, let's get the horsemen fully upgraded so we're not a complete idiot. And men at arms and spears. Yes, yes. Knights, let's come down and see what we can find around the realm. We need to find all the workers. We should win a forever war, I'm thinking. That Chinese army is just super chad. They're doing super well. Okay, so we're seeing a lot of the secret spots. We, he's got his fishing eco here. We're looking for any sort of villager position. We need to get more stables, 100%. The stables, uh, the, so, so good getting fast reinforcements. All right, so where are you hiding your bills at, homie? I know they're around here somewhere. His eco, he's idling this whole time, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got reinforcements coming. I got you. Okay, so those guys are idling out. No problem. We'll take that Onabagesha down and then run back to the top. And uh, cool. So we've gathered for round 10. And men-at-arms will make some rams, because we have a lot of wood. And if we could take this player down, that's going to be pretty sweet. All right, we're going to take down that monastery. If I can get if I can get the five relics that this player has, oh, that's going to be so good. All right, let's just one samurai. One Chad samurai trying to take on five of the knights. Yeah, so I just need to send in trash units to support the, um, to support the, what's it called? Yeah, we're going to get that building down, which is going to be very annoying. That'll take away some passive income. Get the horsemen on the farmers. The HRE troopers are on the way. So we just need to get those farmers down. And let's actually get the farms here. It's going to be more important. We'll leave you to try and torch that. All right. Let's go, team. 
I think we win this forever war. Yeah, because he's losing all of his eco during this, right? Like, he's so many villagers are going to die here. And that's how you do it in grindy forever wars. It's the deciding factor is who can do the eco damage, right? And the thing is, they're not even, like, complaining. I'm going to let my ally have this gold. Switch over to this. He's doing, and he's playing really well. And you see, we just butchered all those freaking bills again. Yeah, nasty, nasty stuff. All right, let's go get the uh, the squishy buildings up here. We can get his village too, because that's gonna shut shit down pretty hard. Poor, Tr I do feel bad for Tron though, but he is a little. His his ally's not. He's pretty close actually. He just needs to go here. Okay, I don't feel that bad. And um, we need to get our prelates and have them come over here. And except the one in the Aachen, I need to put him back in. Okay. So we got that down. So let's knock this down and this. And continue the reign of tyranny. So we need to go get the uh, villages if possible. And you come up here. Uh, is there any more gold we can grab? Maybe we can grab a little bit here. Although I think bringing these villas up here to help with the siege would be a little bit better. Okay. Do we have any more gold or stone we can grab? Maybe some there. Okay. He's trying to defend up here. So let's gather up our troops where we can. Send some of the men at arms to go get that. Actually, let's send the cavalry go loose formation here. Okay. So good stuff so far. Yeah, Tron did kind of ask for it. He was raiding us pretty hard. So, um, you know, certainly wasn't making any friends. Okay, he's still mining here. So let's take down his eco where we can. The Chad men at arms are going strong. They're going strong, baby. All right. Let's keep attacking. Make sure everybody's getting in here. You see Orange. Orange might pull back now. Orange may pull back. Certainly not out of the realm of possibility. Okay, let's get those religious buildings going. And these guys are going to go ninja impossible and try and get those relics if they can. I see it. I see the goodies. I see the goodies. That's what I'm here for. So let's get this down. Um, oh, English. We don't want to. We don't want to antagonize the English. We really don't. Okay, I kind of screwed that up, but it's okay. Okay, so let's get a tower here and get the goodies. Oh, yes. Yes. Let the salmon flow like the salmon of Capistrano. Let's go, baby. Give me those relics. Here for it all day. Nanny's just fighting like a Chad down there while I'm basically just pillaging the base. <laughs> I'm just like here for the loot. Oh, God. Bro. Bro, I'm going to get five relics. Oh, I'm so hard right now. Let's get a cannon tower. <laughs> okay, keep the steam rolling. Um, so I won't even need, like, straight up passive, like, to be mining gold at this point. Okay, so we got 14 vills here. Um, let's pull them. Uh, do we want to go over here? Yeah, let's build, like, towers all over this base to um, basically make it impossible to rebuild. Uh, let's take this out. Then uh, I will get towers all over base. Oh, yeah. So, Annie, take some relics for Pago. I'm going to drop them off in... Um... Okay, so I'm going to drop the relics off here for the pagodas. That's right. That's a really good idea. Granted, they might be... I actually got 15 relics. They cheated and got more. Okay. See, this is how you just... This is how you... Um, let's go ahead and drop. And drop. Okay. So let's go to the middle. Get those in pagodas. Yeah, that's that's a, a really good call. And, and this one. And this one. See how the absurdity? So now that we got the absurdity going, the other players might be like a little confused. Like, are they really? You know? Like, is are they joking? Is one team exaggerating? Okay, so Tron is out of the game. Wow. So he's just straight up gone. He's just gonzo. And um, we got all those relics. GG, well played. I don't want to... I, GG to you, Tron, for the record. Um, but... We're not untouched. 
We've been in constant war. This could be bad, though, if the creatures of the world turn against us. Okay. So that's not going to happen. Um, we're setting up a little palisade here. Wonder would probably go up in this corner, although we're nowhere near a wonder. Nobody's buying stone yet, by the way. Uh, we got what appears to be five relics now. Relics don't even give stone anymore, bro. Like ten. Okay. Okay, trying to counter politic him a little bit. It certainly isn't easy. And uh, is there anywhere else we need to wall off here? Ooh, it looks like it's a little bit of an insecurity here. Okay, so one has been taken. Uh, we're towering all over the base. This is dodgy. They are scheming. You may need to turtle. Yeah, because we could get attacked here for sure. They destroyed those walls. Um, the other teams are going to continue fighting. Or do we squash Japan? That's dangerous. Because they can uh, BS us. Backstab us, is what I mean. Alright, so let's get on wood. Um, nope, wrong building. A couple more of you guys. Yeah, I agree. Let's lay low. Okay, so we got the Sacreds. Um, we got the Pagodas going, so his income's going to be pretty good now as well. So far, you know, a good a good start to the game. Yeah. Help them. Nice, nice. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. That is pretty funny that he just stole that relic. I do have some bills over there that can prison shank him, although he's going to make it to the boat. <laughs> Yeah, we lost one relic. It's okay. Can't uh, get him. <laughs> Love that, yeah. I, I'm gonna... You see, now I'm gonna try and... Oh, heads up, heads up, heads up. Oh god, oh god. So there's clearly um, some ill intent on us over here, right? Someone's, someone's looking a little bit unhappy. Oh, uh, we got gold there. Let's go get on the tree line here. There's big ass armies gathering in the north. You don't need rams anymore, so let's delete those. Yeah, it's tricky. Anonymous is still in the game. We did remove one threat, and we definitely came away with the relics. You know, we we came away with the relics, which is a good one for us. Um. How much is my ally getting from trade, by the way? Is it even worth it? 80 a pop is actually pretty good. So maybe I should start trading too. We'll just like start working up some passive trade. Oh, shit. I had a bunch of military queued up. You can get rid of the basic horsemen for now. And uh, yeah, we'll just start doing this. So this is an Ottoman and uh, and a another army here. Okay. So we're going to have to fight this. I do have a keep here with some, some useful tools. Our armies are going to be pretty formidable. You know, it won't be bad. Get some knights in there too, and some mangoes would also be good. Yeah, they're coming for it though, man. They're coming for it. It was only a matter of time before the squealing, the squealing yielded some fruit. Careful. Yeah, they're going to get the market. I mean, the armies are okay. Where the hell are the Ottoman Great Bombards and shit, you know? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay, CP here are going to try and raid, so what we do is we just go get in front of them here. Okay. So we just hold here and hold that, and now we just... They're not going to... Oh, I screwed that up. All right. So, I mean, we have, like, castles in most areas, so we should be okay. Um, we can take these knights and have them park here also... Oh, they're just diving artillery. Okay, they're not even trying to raid us. That's fine. Okay, so I think this is going well. Unfortunately, I don't have any culves in this army. I need to get a couple culves in. So we just need to we just need to turtle and be quiet, basically. Okay, there's the Ottoman Great Bombard. Um, I guess we counter push and try and kill them if they're gonna if they're gonna come for us. Although getting in on English is rough. 
uh, regroup. Yeah, we need to regroup here. So yeah, trade. Um, we need to get as much trade as possible. So let's get a couple of those. Good. And um, my ally is moving in. I don't really have bombards myself, but let's go ahead and slam a couple down there. The problem is Japan's probably going to uh, assail us at some point. Let's let them get tired. No problem, dude. You're doing great, Nanny. You're doing really good, man. So if we just keep using the defender's advantage... So defend. No. <laughs> you attacked our base and then left. Okay, so we don't need rams for any reason, really. Um, let's go ahead and get the cross map trade back on. You have the mangonels. Okay, that's now. Now that's a little exaggeration, which I love because it's it's believable. Yeah, Nanny's... Nanny's so much better at politics than I am. <laughs> you know, I'm just like dog shit at politics. Alright, where's my... What does my eco look like? 81? Let's delete the... Uh, yeah, I need to do this. So let's get all of our military buildings and re-hotkey them. Uh, we do not have 15 relics. I wish. Alright, so they're going to keep coming at us. The potato attacks will continue until morale improves. Uh, do we have the stables? Yes, yes, and yes. And then we have a bunch up here. That's right. Yeah, so they're actually coming from the middle. Shit, we could we could just get teamed up on pretty hard. Which is the nature of the beast. Sadly, we can't put any uh, wonders down or anything like that. We're going to have to build another one, one of these. This is going to be a hard hold, man. Okay, so I think it's just one player here. No, it's two. Uh, all right. Nanny's politicking, which is good. They're going to see only five relics, which is excellent. So let's get the horsemen. The horsemen can go here and hunt these down. Purple and blue have sacreds and castles, which is actually true. And um, cool. I got my horsemen hunting them, so they're going to go and just chase these guys down. No problem. Meanwhile, we do this. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, teal and pink will prob just get cornered, wandered by by Japan after. Yeah, that's actually that's actually fair. Do this. No problem. Look at that. Look at the look at the lovely sweat micro. I love it. Let's see if they get anything out of it. Okay. Alright, so once again, we continue the pushing here. Um, that This is actually probably a mistake, though. We will when you get here. I'm actually being somewhat truthful about this. Okay. And uh, looks like we dealt with the Haggard Sipa he rating. I, I literally think they maybe got like one one villager out. All that micro. Okay, so let's go resecure these walls. Looking good. And then we can do this. Unfortunately, they can't build there. Is there a tree line there? There is. That's how it's gonna be. And there are some random samurai trying to rebuild landmarks there. Nanny doing a good job sending troops over. Somebody buying stone. Someone is also buying stone. Okay, so we got that resealed. Um, I got towers coming here. Unfortunately, I don't have emergency repairs anywhere. We just got a Helm's Deep. Uh, uh, all right. So thankfully, it's just these guys. I could go do a little bit of horseman raiding to try and snipe the arty, but it looks like it's being adequately protected. Um, let's get some more wood over here. That's very weird, Eonimus. Yeah, you're the only... That's I don't know what's going on with you. So the corner of Japan is something we can use politically to our... Um, we need to use corner Japan as our political chip. 
This is pretty fun, right? Like, scheming politics here is really good. 2v2v2 becomes very political compared to other formats. Okay, he says we're out. All right, all right. So they're leaving. See, they're scheming a wonder. <laughs> they're definitely scheming something. I love it. And uh, for now, we can go ahead and build some um, farms up here. So let's do this and this. Okay. All right, and then that looks fine. Okay, let's bank resources now. And then we wonder prep Swabia. All right. So the traders, let's get them back online. Um, we need to get this. Yeah, it's better than nothing. And then you come down here and do that. Oh, okay. Okay, let's kill these guys. I think we have to at this point. They're just showing a pattern of, of, of just punishment, you know. It's going to be hard to. It's going to be very hard to kill them because their auto's in English. That's like a brutal power combo. All right, so let's go here and do this and this and this. Um, our eco is at 113. A little bit steep on the eco department, so let's uh, cut some of these. Um, the keep is going to go down pretty quickly to the Ottoman Great Bombards. We will have emergency repairs, but... That's basically it. Um, yeah, so let's try and sneak through and see if we can get on these. Yeah, if we can get like one great bombard for all these horsemen, it's straight up worth it. Emergency repairs. All right, so we get one. I don't know if we can actually kill them. Shit, it's going to be kind of hard, actually. It's like a wild Chinese siege workshop back there. All right, so now we're moving. The armies have clashed. They don't have mangonels, which is good. That means we can actually um, win some of the ground-based fights. And, um, yeah, we probably need to get keeps, like, all over the place. So, culverins, uh, culves, culves, culves for the culverin god. Unfortunately, they're getting in range. We need to get horsemen and these guys and culves. And, yeah, he did pop us there. Alright, so we're pushing them back again. Yeah, need a new market. We'll get it in a second. We just gotta, we just gotta survive this. Man, great bombo bombards are so good. The other alliance is cackling right now, though, because while we're fighting this, we are uh, we are probably going to win it eventually, but they're just going to be so far ahead that they're going to probably corner wonder. Yeah, we need to secure this ground first. All right, so let's get those over here. And we should overwhelm them just with sheer number of uh, angry German dudes right now. So here we are. Great. So we get in. We need to keep the Great Bombard numbers low. Yeah, great. So they're losing a lot here. How are they so fast? Look at those things, man. Oh my god, they're so speedy. Horseman. Yep, let's get another one. Let's get another one here. Another one bites the dust. I mean, their, their armies are way more expensive than ours, that's for damn sure. Alright, so we might be able to kill them here. <laughs> you think they are helping you. Okay, let's get the horsemen to charge down here and get that. They just want you to fight us so they can wonder. Okay, so we got some rams coming in. Looking good. Let's uh, get the uh, bombards on the way. And the raiding thankfully didn't do too much. Um, as far as stone goes, yeah, we need to get a market. Yeah, that's right. On it. Ayanimus building a wonder. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that! Ayanimus goes for a wonder. What a chad. Okay. Okay. So. We secure a trade. Counter wonder. Alright. So that wall is being... You guys got that right, Ottomans? <laughs> okay. Let's uh, get this set up. Ayanimus has got a corner wonder here. We should we should push. Um... Okay, so that looks fine. How are we looking? Tithe barns ain't what it used to be. And now um, let's get a bunch of markets here. We should push a little bit just to be safe. Yeah, this wonder, I mean, we don't want to lose to the, you know, 1v5 or whatever. But yeah, we definitely want to, um... Do I have any traders left myself? I do have five, nice. 
Okay, but we need to accumulate wealth here because we were taking a bit of a beating in some of those fights. Yeah. All right, so gather here. Looking good. You got the pagodas. Yeah, two pagodas online ain't bad. And uh, yeah, we got a good enough army. It'll do, pig. It'll do. Yep, trade's going. Um, oh. Do I start buying stone? How much stone you got? Because a counter wonder right after this is over would be like a potential win con for us. Okay, you will build. Alright, so we're going to start moving in here. We need to get more traders. Um, 51 on wood is a little bit hardcore, considering we have 36,000. Okay, probably need more military infra as well. Looking good, and we actually have a gold node in our base, which is kind of funny. Alright. So, we have gold being built up. We're pushing. The other team appears to be moving across as well. Do not be gentle. Yeah, and this is a this is how you go out on your shield, honestly. His ally died very early on, so that's pretty unfortunate for them. Um, but yeah, we're going to be seeing Nanny maybe doing a naval landing or something. I mean, you could totally, totally land over here and do some work. But I'm just going to push like brute force up the middle. Um, I would imagine the bottom team is doing it as well. Teal Wonder says Sai. Yeah, we got to get on this. Like, you'd be, you'd be surprised how quickly it can... Yeah. Yeah, this is a little bit dodgy. Okay, so let's go over here. We're going to do this. And then we're going to build some docks down here. Uh-oh, he's being uh, harried here. Okay. Do that. Uh, we are pushing. Now... How are they not atta are they not attacking the wonder? I wonder if they aren't. I'm just gonna go right down the pipe here with my big angry squad. All right, so you guys have cleared out pretty much all that wood, and um, now let's go ahead and do this. Stone is being bought. I'll be it very slowly. We are going to push. Yeah, but he only has to hold for 12 minutes. That's right. I mean, it could be quicker. I need to destroy this infrastructure. Um, let's not fool around. Yeah, it looks like my ally is going to be doing the naval push. So I'll stay land focused and just go like right up here with these bills. We got 13 on gold now. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, 121 eco is pretty good here. And let's organize the trade so it goes to the deepest market to make sure. It'll give us like an extra couple, uh, extra batch here. All right. So yeah, this is going to be a good little invasion here for sure. Let's knock down these buildings so we don't get flanked by samurai. We have coves. And uh, keep me posted on your stone. Yeah, and I'll start in I'll start entrenching this as well. Alright, so yeah, we'll do that. Oh, here we go. Okay. With I mean like Ottomans should have no problem pushing Japan. If they have like great bombards and whatnot, they should be totally cozy. Okay, so here they come, and my ally has landed on the shores. It's gonna be incredibly cool. Let's go up here and set up a siege workshop. Move them through. And uh, they're gonna be going out on their shield for sure, and then it's gonna become an interesting kind of political situation. Let's remove these houses. And uh, we can go ahead and rebuild them down here. Okay, let's get the bombard through. Can we get through the water here? We cannot, so we need to pound those walls down. Okay, almost down for the count. And you guys can just happily fish in the meantime. Every little bit matters. His ally died earlier, yeah. And I think he's just going out on a shield, which is fair. All right, let's get all these. And um, the fisherman can come in. Yeah, you can see he's already struggling to defend, probably. His army's there. We're in his base, um, and we need to get... Is he going after the Tanagashima gunsmith? Oh, nice. That's a good play. Unfortunately, this one uh, player is, is attacking our shit here. All right, so let's get in. Take these down. Take these, and let's get the Culves moving up. Culves can target this and this. And, uh, yeah, killing Tanagashima here is brilliant. It's very good. Okay, Culves, come on. And let's get that one, too. And the villagers can now come in and start setting up siege workshops. And we just need to kind of secure this land. He's not going to be able to hold for very long. Um, 
The other team is probably going to counter Wonder here, I would wager. Get ready for them to counter Wonder. Ottomans, unfortunately, are attacking us. Um, the Bombards are moving pretty directly to him right now. So one of the other teams is probably going to counter Wonder. Ay, ay, ay. Is anybody buying stone? Yeah. 6k stone, no gold. Okay, sounds good. So let me send the stone to Nanny. Okay, so sending that. 4v2. 4v2 is probs uh, too hard to hold. Even with auto. Yeah, we may, we may want to just, you know, be the next one to kind of deal with it. Okay, we just kill these guys. Maybe we let another wonder then 4v2 them. Just ideas, just thoughts. Then wonder when 2v1. What are you guys, what are you guys doing here? Alright, so let's keep cruising around the top. If we can get some relics out of this, that'd be pretty sweet. So let's still go see if we can get some churches over here. Alright. And then we can, um, you guys need to, need to stop this. I feel like 4v2 is usually pretty easy to hold, but autos make it way harder. We can try. Um, so I'll buy some, some more stone. Let's send that to you. Okay. So I sent that to them. The nanny. Sent some stone. And uh, let's take down these walls here. Make some religious characters. Um, okay, want to go for it? Okay, and then I think you guys can head back. I think we have this under control. But you never know, there's still seven minutes left. Let's see what Nanny wants to do. It's your B day. <laughs> yeah, I will defend valiantly with uh, with all all my might, but you got to be the one who decides. Okay, looks like Nanny didn't grab that gold, so I'm just going to her. He says not yet. Sounds good. All right. So we got the religious characters. I know there's some relics being stashed back there. Somebody else is gonna wonder after this. As in, literally, don't have the gold. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Well, somebody else will probably counter wonder here then. And then we just fight for the scraps here, probably. There's got to be some relics hidden back here. Right. Okay. Um, we see religious characters. Relics. We need to fight for those. Yeah, bring your army down here if you can. Cool. I think there's relics back in the corner. Probably hidden. Okay, is there relics? I don't think so. I'm not seeing them right now. Oh shit, I wasn't watching. A bunch of culves got us. Alright, so let's uh, see if we can pop this and this. And um, I don't think there's any relics in there. Okay. Wait, what is Nanny doing? Nanny's politicking t to make it look like we're the relic thieves? Where are those relics? I could have sworn I saw a couple. Not sure what the scheme is. Uh, they were borrowed from us and we want them returned. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're hunting for it. Um, take him. I just want his dead landmarks. Where are they even? Okay, so floating gate is there. We're going to kind of keep scrapping down this way. I'm pretty sure the relics are gone. Yeah, these are just Yorishiru. So those aren't, aren't going to do anything for us. Yonimist. <laughs> He held pretty long considering that. Yeah, I know where the final landmark is. It's right here. Yeah. So then we need to scout the base for, for the goods. Um, we should probably get a bigger military at home in case we get backstabs of some sort. And cool. <laughs> He's lagging pretty bad, huh? I wish the... I guess he doesn't have any relics around. He may have hidden them somewhere down in the corner. Let's see. So we're going to build an army back up at home. We managed to get that gold. Um, wood, as far as wood goes, we have a couple of patches. Uh, I don't want to take it from my allies, so let's go pillage the middle. This could be a situation where we just run out on the map in general. 
This corner was, this was a really good corner though for a wonder. It was a really good spot. Okay, so one team is gone, but that's it. There's still a lot of action left in this game. We're gonna get bombarded in the back ASAP. Yep, I'm ready. Yeah, already, already got an army waiting. They're gonna be coming. And uh, traders are generating 80 a pop, which is outstanding. Okay, so no goodies here. Ooh, look at that spirit wave being hidden down here. I really like that by my ally. That's a that's a brilliant play. Matter of fact, I'm gonna run some bills down there and just have them, uh, you know, have them set up some farms or something. And uh, that way, if we get wiped in the north, we have a place to uh, recover. Let's go get the sacreds for money. Um, and for Nanny, let's give Nanny some more gold. Yeah, we'll give him two thousand gold. All right. Uh, guys, sorry about this, but quick bio break for me. Don't kill me uh, too dead. Go for it. Yeah. That's his tactic. He, he says he's in the restroom. Don't attack me while he's building his wonder. Um, get ready. I will... Sacred may be an issue, though. We'll see how quickly they react. Okay, so we're going to wall this. And then we're going to tower this other one. Okay, so that looks fine. Let's pull a couple of you guys over here. These guys are going to head to the north. And man, this is going to be a brutal wonder defense, guys. We're going to be hit on so many fronts. Um, ping where... Okay, where is he going to wonder? Is it going to be up in the corner here? I think this is where it's going to be. Okay. So we know where that is. Unfortunately, there's not much shown. I'm walling it, see? <laughs> walling it in at least okay so we got a little wall action going let's get the inspired warriors it's pretty good actually get all the upgrades because we have money and then we can surround it by a couple with a couple towers for a second i thought that was the enemy team says nanny yeah all right so we got our little like corner colony i really like it down there it's very cozy have you guys do this? And you guys do that? I'm good. Let's jump on that. And um, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have any fortification, so it's legit just all military brawn. Okay, let's get some of you guys back. We're going to need to build way more infrastructure to fight this kind of a war. Okay. And then we can get some siege workshops in the back as well. We'll do a bunch of extra ones back here. And yeah, that should be all good in the neighborhood. So what do we got now? 18, 19? Yeah, way better. So we got to wait for... Um, is he going to pull Vils yet? He hasn't pulled Villagers yet, so... Somebody's going to wander here 100%. Um, yeah. Someone is buying stone. Be ready. We could get Wonder Race, but we're China, so we have the advantage in the Wonder Race for sure. Um, 100%. This has worked to our advantage. I like my bank now. Uh, yeah, I have an okay bank. Yeah, I have an okay bank. All right, so let's get those going. Enemy neutralizing sacred site, really? Oh, they're just running past it. So we're getting the passive money. We have a lot of trade going. How many traders am I? Rocking 20. Okay, that's pretty respectful. 1,300 gold a minute with relics, and then... Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Um, I could move... Some of the relics up here. That might not be a bad idea. Um, so let's go here and here. And we can move our, all our relics up there. Which will be pretty good. China's pulling bills. This is going to be a ballsy hold, guys. Like, very difficult hold. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. That's for damn sure. But I can make, like, pretty good quality armies per in perpetuity. Uh, bio treaty. Okay, oops, sorry. Bio treaty. <laughs> Look at Contende going for the uh, the backstab on that. That's so funny. Oh man, okay, I don't have anywhere to hide that anymore. Okay. 
Uh, all right, so we'll start on some towers here. Okay. So we can get you guys to come up and start working on all these towers. We can get our prelate goon squad to grab the relics and migrate them to the north and put them in towers, uh, which is going to be smart. All right. And that'll give us some defenses. They're trying to secure uh, trade, fully upgraded at the moment. There is some, yeah, there is a little bit of stone in the base here. Yeah. All right, let's hit that some, Probably don't need too much on the food right now, so we're just gonna get all you guys over there. I can delete all my food eco, wood eco. I can pretty much delete all my eco and go 200, 200, so. That's gonna be pretty fat. And maybe we can get some like cannon towers here. I'm gonna buy a little bit, even though it's expensive. Um, try and get a couple cannon placements with relics in them. All right, so looking good. Yeah, the towers are being built. Villagers are on the way. So let's have you guys grab two. Move up here. And then a couple of you guys can do these and head up here as well. All right, cool. So that's going to do it. We're going to get a little bit more stone here, which is going to be great. Um, we can even build a keep here. Do we want to build a keep here? Is this going to be enough? We do have two sacreds. Yeah, Nanny's securing that one. I think that's going to be enough. Hopefully so. I mean, could be wrong, right? Okay, let's do a keep here. Keep here. And a keep... Um, Okay, if they can wonder race 75 Chinese bills, <laughs> go for it. Go for it. Alright, so yeah, we've gotten all that. You guys can come up here. There's a random dude in our base. Oh, it looks like there's an opening there. Okay, so let's bring you guys up and power build those walls. And in the meantime, we will fix that breach. Okay, can we fix that? Great. Look, Nanny builds the wonder as soon as they return. I love it. <laughs> I love that so much. Oh my god, that's so great. Let's hope they don't react too well. Um, I'm getting decent entrenchments going, so we're gonna get a cannon tower here. Um, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try a couple of these. We're gonna get relics in those. And now we just gotta defend the wonder, which is not gonna be easy. All right, so yeah, you guys are ready. We're just gonna keep these lumber workers going and use them to like do wall trolling and things like that. We can speed build these keeps, and uh, oof, it's so expensive. I shouldn't be doing that. We got to keep the trade going for as long as possible. My gold's a little bit tight from buying stone to build these um, wonderful defenses. All right, so the first called arms is here. Here they come, and um, let's delete these workers. Yes, and um, right on. So we need to get you dropping this here. Um, we're gonna get another tower here. So you can drop it here, and then you guys drop it here. And uh, I'm gonna intercept the auto army. The first attackers have arrived at the gates of uh, Helm's Deep. We have a decent little backline defense. It ain't bad, you know, it ain't bad. Uh, all right, so that's way too many. So we can just delete you guys. Keep some alive. Okay, here they come. So the Culv's gonna try and blast away, but I'm probably gonna get just absolutely pancaked here by this uh, OP Ottoman army. All right, great. So we got relics and, you know, de decent defenses. Um, it's a little bit ugly here. Jesus Christ, look at those great bombards, guys. Jesus, those bombos. I don't know how we're gonna hold this. Oh my God. Look at this army. This is just pure destruction. We need, like, an epic flank on them or something. Okay, archers. Shit, I didn't upgrade my archers to elite. It would have only gotten worse. That's true. That's true to an extent, but if those bombards get to where they need to be, we're definitely toast. All right, so we got culves now, so let's zoom in and see if we can methodically target these down. Okay, so the culves are here. Maybe we can kill some of these? Maybe. Okay, can we get them? Dear God in heaven. Those things just flatten my armies. The other team hasn't even gotten here yet. Hopefully we can at least win this fight. Okay. One. We got one. Yeah, all right. That's good. Oh, my God. How many do I have left? I've got three. Okay. I've killed a couple of them with the culverins. We need to kite back a little bit is what we need to do. If we can overwhelm them and push them back once, they might not be able to remuster an army of this might. Right? And they might not be able to. Okay, so we're swarming. We got a lot of horsemen coming out, a lot of spearmen. 
get our archers elite, and um, the other team is coming from the other side. But the other team is not the problem. It's these guys. We're at what? 12 minutes? Jesus Christ. This army is so savage. We are doing some damage. We are doing some damage. Okay, so they're coming from the south, which is going to be a little bit of time. I'm just hemorrhaging units into this army. Absolutely just losing losing tons of shit. Uh, once we get a couple more culves, maybe we're going to be able to fight them off. Yeah, we got Nest the Bees coming in now, which is good. My horsemen are just getting last samurai as they move in. Just absolutely last samurai. Okay, we got the culves now. That's like the, literally the only tool we have. Okay, so we're going to try and snipe those. Do this. Uh, more culves and this. 39 villagers. Um, I don't really know what we need. We might need them for something. I'm not sure. So that's one down. Good, good. They're starting to lose some numbers now. Unfortunately, they scooted up. Can we get that other one? Come on, fire. Oh, I think they got it. Okay. Man, I can't even, like, produce as quick as they're killing shit. Um, yeah, it's a good thing I didn't delete these bills because we actually need more production. Okay. Oh, my God. I have a melee culverin right now. Can it rip some shots, maybe? The other team's coming. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're, we're going to need to pull you guys back now. We can just stifle this culverin push. Did I have a relic? Oh, I had a relic in there from earlier, I think. That's a shame. I forgot about that. All right. Well, anyways, we've almost got the great bombards down. Let's get these horsemen diving this, and a couple of them can go back here and get all this. All right. We're going to have to fall back soon, because they're taking ground very quickly. Although, ooh, ooh, we got a sneaky play here. Check this out. Come on. Okay, so you go here. You go here, here. And unfortunately, I don't have that many resources, but this is, like, really meme -y. It'll block their pathing if they're not paying attention. Okay. Oh, my God. These Ottoman armies are just disgusting. Dear God. I mean, they got the Janissaries, too. We did manage to put a big dent in a lot of the good stuff, yeah. So that's going to seal that up. We do have a lot of spring alls from Nanny here. Okay. Did I ever get the final form upgrade for the archers? I did. Great. All right, so we're trying to fight them off here. We see the other armies looking for potential openings. They're killing trade. Oh, yeah. They're, okay, that's fine. And um, I can't get to the artillery easily. Let's, like, ride down here and then get this and this. Okay, so the men-at-arms and company are trying. We might be able to hold. It's going to be a little bit dodgy. Yeah, let's get... Okay, they're watching. The boys are watching. Oh, yeah, and if we can get one of those bombards, that's going to be so much, so much ground. Um, the bank is holding on well. Yeah, we see that. So I'll start gathering units there for that hold. LOL. Where are they coming from now? Um, I'm pretty sure it's just from there. Yeah, so let's uh, finish this, and then we can do uh, this, 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 and this. Okay, they moved. Oh, they screwed up with the bombard placement. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, let the Nurglings feast. Give them to me. Okay, he's trying to bring me the relic. Thank you. And, uh, alright, let's get you come down, do this. Okay. Okay. Good thing my bank is so colossal. It's pretty good. Alright, so they're gonna be sieging here soon. I will. Okay, we gotta pull back here. We're shooting you in the face. All hold south. Okay, so let's get this and this. Um, they're coming for it. Yeah, we have the Villager Legion. And it uh, looks like they're able to push him back. So we're going to bring you guys out here and just try like a haggard, like last dive of some sort. Okay, so let's retreat back. I don't know why they're just trying to chain Wolo to us. It's pretty funny. Get a couple Vils here. It looks like the armies are doing well. We got Bombards. You guys ready for this? Oh, the Villager Brigade. Let's go, baby. Okay, so kind of getting folded up here a little bit, but we need to keep the cues cues going. And I didn't have enough um, to get my archers up to elite yet, so that's really, really potato. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, look, my villagers made it! I got all their bombards! Oh! <laughs> the Chad villagers! Alright, so let's get some of these horsemen riding around the top. Not that they're going to be able to do a whole lot. Emergency repairs, why the hell not? Nope, it's not in range. All right, so you guys go dive this, this, and this. Jesus, they have such good armies. Okay, so did we get them? We did. Great. So that's really good. So they've been shut out here. 
And, um, alright, so let's go ahead. Keep fighting here to the best of our abilities. The spring alts are coming down. And, um, yeah, we can, we can have the villagers torch all this, actually. Okay, and I believe I have some Holy Roman troopers nearby as well. Okay. So we're actually, like, holding this flank adequately well, but, like, dude, the rate at which we're hemorrhaging through food, by the way, is insane. Absolutely insane. And I need to keep some bills here, because they need to come up and rebuild my military infrastructure, because I'm actually going to run out. Yeah, we need to build some, like, here, here, here. Because they're clearing, they're slowly pushing through all my infrastructure. These armies are just getting absolutely karate chopped. Uh, they've destroyed several main base buildings. Um, we can grab some relics. No, they don't have any sitting around here. Alright, so that's really good that we stifled that. Um, now we need to come up here and do this. And we can come down and under with the villagers. These are the most Chad heroic villagers ever, man. They're just doing it. Okay, so our armies are fighting well. We're definitely, like, making a hold where we can. Let's get a couple more culves. We've sealed that breach. Let's go ahead and seal this one. And um, you guys get on the mango and mango. And you guys target this and this and this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at these bills go, dude. Absolute heroes. Yeah, as long as Nanny reacts and can hold that kind of northern breach there, that's going to be good. Can't believe I'm actually, like, running out of food. All right, let's get the bombards. Get them, get them, get them. Uh, we can't produce as much as we need. Come on, come on, boys. We'll gather them up back here. All right, we're getting bombards. What do we got? Five minutes on the hold? I might run out of food. I might very well run out of food. It looks like Nanny's doing a good job holding them up here. Meanwhile, we're holding back the Ottoman war machine for as long as possible. Um, let's get these bills up here, and we need to just go get as much production as we possibly can. Yeah, we have no farms being worked right now, I don't think. We can actually get, like, some farmers to start working here. Okay. Back you go. Let's get the horsemen. The great bombards are making way too much progress. I don't think we're going to hold it. Unless Nanny, like, steamrolls this, these players. And we can, you know, somehow magically um, get them back here. Okay, I think the culves are on the way. So that's good. That might buy us a little bit of time. Okay, and he's got the Wololo coming again. Can target you, thankfully. And um, we're gonna creep you up. They're put making good progress though, man. Need to get these culves back, I think. Maybe maybe get a critical mass of them. I only have 5,000 on the old um, resource pool here. That's why we're, we're starting to work the old Aachen farms again, boys. Okay, let's gather up. We need to get, like, our critical mass. Let's build some mangoes and try and fight them in choke points. The other side is, they don't have Ottomans, so they can't push as easily. Ottomans are the best pushing ship in the game, hence, I mean, probably best late game armies in the world. Um, Alright, so, are we close? Nope, the Bombards are just kind of very safely cleaning shit out. Um, let's delete these, because they're kind of just running straight into the enemy, and I, I don't have the micro to rally them elsewhere right now. Okay, let's uh, see if we can pop these from downtown. And cool. So we got all these, and we got all these now. Okay. And cannoneers. Unfortunately, my my artillery is getting sniped. Ay ay ay. This is gonna be a tough hold, lads. This is gonna be a very very tough hold. Because I am losing so much infrastructure. Thankfully, we have enough wood to rebuild a lot of it. All right. Well, bottoms folding. Bottoms folding. Auto OP. We need help against the OP Ottomans. Um, and my ally, yeah, we're gonna. It's it's tricky. It's gonna be a tricky hold. What do we got? Three minutes left. That's a long time. It's a long freaking time. Okay, how are we looking? Yeah, the spring alts are creeping up, but they're not gonna make it too far, probably. There, yeah. And I'm out of uh, I'm out of food. I'm out of food. Out of food. All right, so let's get you back here. And now we just need to spam artillery back here, basically. That's all we can do. Okay. Let's do that and make um, culves as well. We got the farms being worked ever so slightly. Oh my god, those Ottoman great bombards. Yeah, the top is going to make some good momentum now, too. Uh, let's just get our remaining troopers over here, whatever we can get. 
If Nanny can find a way, yeah, look at that. The horsemen just can't do anything against those bombards. They're so disgusting. Two minutes left, they're, but they're making great progress now. We do have our um, our cannon keeps, a couple of those ready to hold. Relics and whatnot. We do have some Holy Roman troopers collapsing from the north side. Jesus Christ, dude. All those horsemen just got folded like it was nothing. They got folded like a piece of meat. All right, what do we got here? Bombards and trebs. Holy Roman troopers are flanking from the south side. Uh-oh. Culverin, let's see if you can pick off a couple of these. Yeah. So oh, there's one right there. Let's pick that one off. Nice. Uh, all right. So let's get all the bills, uh, and we can get the villagers to dive. Uh, we will delete. Oh man. Nanny's trying to desperation politic. I love it. Come on. We might be able to get some flanking action here. Oh my god. This is just pure destruction. Do I have any bills left? Thank god I do. Down and to the left. Oh wait, we might not need to though. They're getting close to the wonder. Oh no, he deleted it! Do we need to delete it? I don't know. Maybe. So, we have some relics still intact. God, I think we might have been able to hold. Shit. We may have had that. Yeah, I don't know. We may have had that. That was really close. Oh my god. So, we're still alive, but um, have the relics been taken? Yeah, I know. I got too panicked. We might have actually had that. We might have had it. Although, likely not with all these guys diving in. Okay, we need to resecure the relics like that. So, let's do that. Let's have you to go get this. Does he have a relic in his hands already? He does. Okay, let's put it here. Okay, we're still in it. No problem, dude. No problem. I understand it. You know, your your caution may have saved our asses. 100%. Okay. Uh, the Ottomans gotta go. Yeah. Okay. The Ottos gotta go, lads. Those things are so OP. Let me give you stone. We can get you back online here. Hit them now while we are still alive. Because they are trying to kill us. Okay, so what can I make here? Possibly some culves, I guess? Yeah. We're trying to politic here a little bit. I still do have a TC alive. And probably take these defenders down and go do something. Okay, and let's give you a little bit more stone. Uh, not enough resources. Okay, so uh, it's the it's the tax I'm paying. So did we manage to get the relics back? I think we managed to get most of them back. Um, we got you. Let's slap you in this keep, and then you can get this, and then you get this and this. The Ottomans. The Ottomans still need to. Sorry, you guys gotta go now. Okay. So we've turned the alliances against the Dread Ottomans. Uh, they still would take a little hot moment to get our infrastructure up here. I need to get some gold. Uh, do I have two bills left? I do. So how many bills do I have? I literally have two villagers left. Shit. And they're like in a very precarious position too. They might even be stuck in the walls here. Yep, they are. Oh god, please don't die here. Please, please, please. Uh, can we get a gatehouse? So I gotta keep those alive because they're steamrolling all my TCs. Although I still have Swabia up in the top, so oh yeah, we need to be making bills. Sending them to the back right now. Okay, so people have seen the light. I, yeah, I don't think we would have gotten it. We were at a minute and 10 seconds left and the walls were breached and um, the other team could have ran through. So I think at the end of the day, we would not have gotten that. Yeah, so the, uh, Nanny Yori made the right call. Man Nanny was like a, a president having to make a tough call right there, and I think they made the right one. Okay, infrastructure is being destroyed. Um, we are trying to get some bills being printed out here. But, yeah, that is a lot of ground. That's horsemen mostly and great bombards. Yeah, shit, how are we going to get that? I mean, you guys are now free. So let's come around here. Um, stone is 700 to pop to buy, so I'm just gonna have to buy it to get another TC for myself. Build some houses and stuff. All right, let's build some houses. Start on that, and um, yeah, they might get us. 
And you doomed us? No, no. I, it was, I think, I don't think they were going to get it. I don't think they were going to get it, Nanny. I mean, I think they were going to get it. Sorry, my brain's all over the place. Because, like, a minute 17, this wall here is breached, and then, um, you know, Sai and, um, would have run through with some Ozutsu and probably gotten the kill. But if the other team actually does attack them, then we might hold. I have three culverins. We can maybe get back in this. I have a lot of relics, too, so, um, do you still have your Pagoda relics on the side? They might have taken those. I'm not sure. We just need to hold here some, somehow, some way. I have three culves, so let's let them get a little bit closer, and then we'll try and make our stand. All right, so let's get all my villagers, do this. Um, gonna have to buy more stone, and I do have enough for a TC now. Oh, thank God. So I can get a TC back online here. I'm about to start a Nomad FFA. It's true. It's true. Those are all spearmen there. Um... Yeah, those are being destroyed. Okay. This has been a really good game, though, man. This has been a really good match. Super, super um, contentious. So, um, Nanny, if you are listening, I think we can take this little small army here. Let my culverins, let my men at arms engage the spears, and then I'll get the culverins to creep up and kill those. I mean, we should be okay. Swabi, unfortunately, is offline. So my men at arm legion is going to be going. Okay, you got the dive on those. Sadly, they're Ottoman bombards, so they're probably going to kill you in melee somehow. Okay, we need to retreat, you guys. Holy shit. Okay, the men at arms are winning. Nanny got the cannons. <laughs> yeah, have that great bombard in particular. I know, you're telling me. Those things are so OP, dude. Yeah, I guess it's the whole identity of the save, right? So it should be kind of OP. Um, all right, so I need to get the villager printer back online. That's like priority number one. Rebuild wall, they clash. Uh, did I get you enough stone back? Look at this. The Chad Holy Romans didn't hear no bell. I love the Civ. The Civ is just so fun to play. No, uh, I am three bills, so they literally have to drop off twice for me to afford one bill. Uh, I can give you some more food. And I do have the passive gold still coming in from the relics, which is, what, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, is it? Yeah, looks like five. I still got five relics on HRE, which is pretty great. All right, so let's, like, sweep this, this shit out of our base. Um, do we have a market over here? Um, set up a market, maybe here. Market, if you can. Hell yeah. We're coming back, dude. Did you repair Swabia? You did not. Okay. Did they manage to get any relics here? I don't think so. We got to keep the culverins alive. Okay, and then you come down and repair this. And we just repair all the landmarks and live long and prosper. We got to rebuild and come to the aid of the bottom team. Because if we can rebuild, like, I think I can get back in it pretty quick. And you're China, so you have Song Dynasty. Um, maybe we can claw our way back into this. Build a ram. Let's clear out all this, all the shit. These guys are going to build some rams and we'll use them to clear out. If they just have like a, a forever war and we rebuild, we actually have a decent chance. Okay, so rams are going. And um, the walls in the back. Yeah, we are going to have our villager printer redone soon. Which is awesome. You still have two or three Seikids and could have had a third for the... Yeah, I, the third, but the third is uh, near their production, yeah. But we do have that passive income, which is great. Okay, and I need to get those that Aachen farm economy going again. So let's just... Um, Nanny, I, uh, I assume you're listening, which you, you should be. Let's... Let's... Uh, yeah. One market. Oh, there's a market there. Okay, and you got one back there too. Great. Second going up. Outstanding. Because I can still get a lot of market trade going. So we'll start it um, on this market for now. And let's just uh, clear out like all the trash and rewall our base. And then um, and try and get back in it. That's, that's basically it. I, I can rebuild quickly because of Swabia. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. Unfortunately, your brother's team could be in some danger. Because of the uh, their opponent, there's uh, autos, the auto, the auto chunguses. All right, so let's get you guys coming down here to repair this. Let's get this castle. Is there a castle here still? Let's see. Might have got destroyed. Don't no, got destroyed. Okay. 
I'll rewall the Southern Empire because even with haggard tithe barns, I'm still getting a little bit of stone, so I can rewall that. Um, that doesn't need to be rewalled. We're, we have a chance here. It's gonna be hard, but it's not impossible. Let's buy some food while we're at it. Landmarks are being rebuilt. Slowly but surely, the Regnitz Cathedral. When that's back online, that will double my income. Because I don't think it's functioning right now. Traders, unfortunately, are taking a bit of a, a scary route. Let's go ahead and rewall every breach we possibly can. Uh-oh, I heard the attack sound. Uh-oh, there's men at arms coming? Really? How dare they? Really? Okay, we're going to make some hand cannoneers come down. I don't know if these boys will beat them. They, they're kind of injured from war. Uh, if you could move those horsemen. Uh, move, uh, move them. Okay, we can make some rams to come down as well. And um, where was the border of our wall? Okay, so we have a ruined empire wall here. So let's breach that. Cool. So everything's kind of coming together. We need some houses, of course. So let's just have you build a million houses, buddy. Remember the trust. I wonder how that bottom fight's going, man. I really do. Okay, so we took those bad boys down. Aachen's about to be finished. We're going to need to get farms around that stat. Uh, our main TC is... How many traders do we have right now? We actually have 10 traders. That's great. And then we need to get our actual TC. And you finish that and finish that. And um, cool. So these guys can hopefully just uh, get the house party going. Yeah, that passive gold I'm getting from the frickin... Um, and that should be going up now. So we're going to have a thousand a minute. Oh man, we, we've this game has been good. We were definitely close to winning. We're very close. If it was any Civ other than Ottomans, we win. Any Civ. But the Ottomans um, were able to just crush us with just brute force. Oh man, we're not able to get the wall up. Curses. Alright, so let's get our troopers and uh, keep clearing them out. It's, it's strange that they're trying to fight us here instead of focusing on the other team. Although it's very minimal, so... Okay, let's go. Pull back. Just gonna have to get some of this. Jeez. And um, the main TC is about to be rebuilt. We're trying to rebuild. Working on it. Yeah, we're trying to get back on our feet. I mean, I'm back up to 48 eco, which is something. Okay, let's get you guys come down and build these walls. And then one of you guys can come and build this wall too. Dead man walking, really? Already? I guess Ottomans are kind of kind of gnarly. What do we expect? Uh, unfortunately, Sai here is attacking us on accident. It happens. No worries. I think he's just trying to path to the enemy. Okay. So these vills need to come here now. Need to get the power of... Um, we can actually make it pretty this time around. So let's get a uh, one of you guys come down here. Do this. And um, you guys come and just destroy all this. Yeah, so let's just knock down these haggard palisades here. This is so, this is so incredibly janky, guys. Alright, so we can get another wall seal here. Okay. Looking good. English men-at-arms are trolling about. So let's delete these and try and make it nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right. So you guys can do this. Get all that going. And in the meantime, you homies up here can just start building some infrastructure. We got down twenty. Uh, we got like twenty bombos all the way bought. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty rough. I wish we could help more. We're trying. Cute Kitty says right. I don't even know what the point is in trying to deceive at this point. You know, there's our empire is so patchwork. Do you have any army? I do have a little bit of army. Okay. So we're gonna get some HRE troopers here soon. Yeah, and our food will be back online in a moment. So let's get some launch next. They're pretty good here. Clear this shit out. And did we clear the walls out? We didn't quite. Okay. Oh, he's actually coming into the base here. So that's pretty troll. It's like such a small force, too. It's like such a rat fight. 
All right, so let's uh, scatter. Can we scatter here? We're not going to get that breach shield. Ugh. Oh, there's so many, like, little, like, issues all over the Empire. The Holy Roman role-playing experience. <laughs> okay, so the markets are being harried. Um, I'm going to try and find a way to come up here, here, and then down here. The War Machine is partially coming back online. Like, we can start making things again, so we're not completely helpless. Um, yeah, they're torching that. And now you need to sneak through and get that sealed, if possible. And one of you, a couple of you go down there and seal this one. <laughs> Alright. We need to hurry, though, before the other team dies. We need to mount, like, an offensive of some sort against these guys. Holy shit. Okay, they're actually going kind of hard here, aren't they? And we need to get some archers down there, too. Man, our food sucks. Let's just buy food. Okay. Archers. Yes. Archers for the archer god. And, um, wow, those... They're actually coming to try and finish us off. The Aachen food economy is all right. We can, like, fight them off here, maybe. Ay, ay, ay. It's a lot. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, my God. They're coming through hard in the paint. They want to end it. Okay. If you have anything, Nanny, um, we're going to need it. I'm going to just be buying food at this point. Uh-huh. Yep. Whatever you got, we'll take the scraps. Elves are okay at killing these hand cannoneers. So they're pretty rich. It's it's a gold, mostly a gold-based army. All right. Let's uh, keep gathering bills up here. The war machine is back, sort of. Okay. Yeah, send those horsemen if you can. Those would be very useful. My wood economy is starting to falter a little bit, too. Okay, they're just going for my TCs. Ah, shit. My colts get a little bit out of position there, and the hand cannoneers are able to kill him. Emergency repairs. Yeah, dive the, uh, the, the cannons if you can. Those things are a pain in the ass. All right, so we got some bills up here. Let's get you guys. Just get some farms going, even even if they're not Aachen farms. I might not be able to have the privilege of having Aachen farms here. Hit you. It's one one hit there. The English player is coming to try and finish finish the scraps, you know. Oh, we get another one. Cool. Horseman. Let's go here and target these. Thankfully, we have the villager printer, so it could be worse. Come on, finish him off. Get those damn cannons down. <laughs> Hold! This is a true golem situation, boys. Like, true golem. Come on, just give me the... I have food. I have gold for days because of the regnants. Okay, fighting 2v4 is not fun. You picked the OP auto. Okay, so Regnus has been karate chopped. All right, perfect. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> HRE is not OP. <laughs> okay, so let's get some more farms going over here. It looks like England's actually like concentrating a war machine against us now. I have four. Okay. He's saying the bases are OP. Oh my god, that's the first time I've heard anyone complain about HRE. I don't know if we can hold this though, lads. This is getting real scrappy here. Um, we might need to get some mangoes. Because this English army is like coming for blood. The other team hopefully will defeat the Ottomans 2v1. Alright, so we're, we're valiantly holding here, sort of. We got farms, we got farms over here. Um, let's keep the villagers pumping out that way and then get you guys running here. Uh, farms for the farm god. Yeah, we can do a little bit of farming action here. I can't believe we literally just had an auto player saying that everyone is OP as the Ottomans. Of course, in 1v1, it's a different story, but if we're talking FFA, it's very clear. We got the Elite Juke New. Hell yeah, let's hold him. Just gonna buy a shit ton of food here, guys. It's cheap as hell, so let's just go hard and buy some food. Oh yeah, we just bought a ton of food. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. I should have a big army coming in now, Nanny. We just need to hold this. And, um, you know, we're going to be okay from there. So, passive. Um, I am legit out of wood, though. Okay, we need to creep down to the middle and get that. Okay, let's gather up. Let's gather up, team. Get ready to fight. Oh, boy, it's going to be hard to stop an English player. It's going to be very hard. Nanny is probably able to muster a little bit now. We just need to hold, basically, for as long as possible to allow the other side to uh, potentially get the job done. Very sad we don't have any Aachen, though. Very sad face. All right. <laughs> yep, they're saying it's over card, yeah. We played pretty good. We, we were close to winning this. We might still have a slim chance. A slim shady chance, maybe. Oh, uh, Nanny, if you manage to get some horsemen. Uh, blue and purple. We need some. They're your base. Yeah, we need space, yeah. That is actually true to an extent. Okay. So the defenders are valiantly marshalling here to fight off the tyrannical English. Um, we have the money coming in the top. Okay. How are we looking? Yeah, got to keep bills pumping out. We got to keep those, those numbers up. Sure, archers, why not? Um, we got these guys. Man, we were so close to re-securing our little empire, too. But honestly, man, is really... Is Cute Kitty going to be able to 2v1 those guys? That's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts. Yeah, we really don't have too much space. We're kind of kind of hurting for it. Okay, we pushed that army back, which is good. The English are going to be uh, forced back to the Shadow Realm here. We've got to get that bank going again. I really need to get the uh, Aachen farm economy going. That's that's what is just the sauce. So let's produce villagers down there. Get you guys coming up here. Fishing? I probably should switch into a fishing economy, honestly. That might not be a bad idea. But Aachen farm is really good. Oh, drive the English back. Send them back to the shadows. <laughs> Have you guys attacked these hand cannoneers? Yeah, they're just farming my bills as they pop out of the uh, Swabia. Bonk them on the he head with some boulders. Okay. Looking good. Um, as far as resealing this goes, that did get... The, there's only one opening in the south. We need to just drive them back to that opening and then seal it. And um, then we should be good. Is he really making sea, uh, infrastructure up here? Holy shit. Look at that, man. Uh, okay, let's see that. Looks good. And yeah, we just got to hold here. Repair our landmarks again. Uh, these traders, whatever. Get them off my damn queue. And they can, they can get back to their route. We got bills coming down to reseal this, although I suspect England's going to be waiting to um, do something. Make some mangoes. I'm going to try and reseal this. And let's cover it. Oh, he's got a cannon tower there. That's pretty troll. All right. So we need to reseal this. And um, we got the farms being worked. Great. In the meantime, you guys have finished that. Let's get you back in the base and prepare the TC. Okay. So that's not going to work there. England's got a bit of a hard on. And let's repair that. We need to just defend here, Nanny. Just hang tight. And, and we hold it here and see how it goes. Um, wood in the middle is very, very sparse. I think there's a couple of errant wood patches around. Oh, there's one up here. Okay. Prepare it. Get the Aachen back online, baby. Got a little bit of a farm eco going. It's an ugly one, but it'll do, pig. Okay, let's get you back online. And we want to swarm that if possible. We have the TC over here, so we can just have you sit up here and motivate them. And repair this. And we're going to try and get another farm eco on that. So let's buy some wood. And we'll uh, get the farms back online. Sushi, uh, sushi armies aren't as good as Ottoman armies. They're good, very good, but I think autos are the best in the game. Uh, okay, so I'm going to reseal the north. Do you want me to reseal the north here? Uh, all right. Uh, he says, take it. All right, cool. The other team wants us to succeed, you know. They don't want us to die. We should be able to fight well. 
Oh, shit, there's a relic there, okay. Uh, getting it. Yeah, nice. Let's get this relic, and we can bring it back up here. Regnet's Cathedral needs to be repaired, too, because my income is hampered when it's, uh, when it's down. So let's go get this. Uh, I get my landmark, you get relics? Yeah, it's a win. How many relics do we get? Is it just one? Could, you, could be just one. Let's add another prelate over there just to go discover that if possible. All right. Start on this, and um, yeah, that should be enough. I think it's just one relic over there, but we'll find out. The free income we've been getting from the middle is great, too. We have a standing army here, ready to fight. We need to pressure Ng soon, so Bot doesn't lose. Yeah, he's got his entrenchments there and whatnot. Um, let's get a Bombard Cannon. Regnitz is going to be back, and this is going to be back. And we're going to go in and party, I guess. You raid Eco. I'll work on the entrenchments. All right. So, yeah, we're getting there, man. Okay, so I'm going to hit this. And um, he goes and raids the English farms, hopefully, if he can. Yeah, we see a massive legion moving. Great. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we're going to knock back the infrastructure here. We managed to recover decently well. Um, we don't really need any cold even. And did the relic get taken? Did it? Where's our religious guys? Here you go, buddy. And then let's take it back up here. All right, so we're cleaning this out. Um, we see raiding going down. So we're just going to clear out all the infrastructure. Cool. All right, so needs a, a breach on it. All right, so we're going to get this. Oh, we found a breach. <laughs> yeah, that should be a breach into the base, although it doesn't look like it fully is. All right, so we need to get you guys over here. Let's penetrate into the actual base. Oh, shit, there's a tower over there killing the prelates. That's what was going on there. Okay. Uh, tree line, tree line, tree line, tree line, trees. Yes. Okay. So I'm waddling in with my army. He says, hope you like my defense. Well, we, we like it for now. Okay. Let's move in. He's got cross trade going again. This is like pretty trolly little angle here. All right, so that should be enough to get those walls down. And we now have Aachen. Uh, we don't have a priest in it yet, so we need to get the priest there. Keeps are going down. We're about to get into the cookie jar, though. Yeah, there's a, a big palace. England is, is uh, defending. We're going to try and kill the White Tower here. Um, and move these mangoes in position. We might be able to get the White Tower. Yeah, it looks like they're they're rushing through. So let's just run into the base. Switching to Fire Lancer, that's a good call. Alright, so yeah, we got the eco. Get into the get into the farms. Basically what you want to go down here. And I'm gonna start raiding his eco. Oh sweet revenge, dude. For so long we were oppressed by these these English. But now now we we, we have become the oppressor. And then we just need to um, potentially wander against the south if we can find a way. All right, so let's get this fully online. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, so let's get you guys to start building rams over here. Some of you guys can attack the defenders. All right, so rams are being built. We're hitting the defenders hard. I don't have much wood, so it's kind of hard to get that military infrastructure back that we lost from before. Um, we need to get a couple priests and run a Mission Impossible gauntlet. So let's get a couple of them. 
gather here and yeah they they have towers here blue has towers there so it's kind of hard to get those okay so let's run here get these rams attacking cancel all these run up into the corner and just start ram spamming over here yeah good attacks things are going well like you guys um make some rams some of this a little bit of that Sneaky, sneaky ram sign in the corner. All right, so it looks like we might be actually be able to run even further up here. Okay, let's cancel all that. And then from now, we need to get on the farms. And I also need to get some trade going myself. So I think there's a further market. Yeah. Outstanding. So let's put this. Men at Arms have lured some of those guys away. Nanny's going to keep raiding, which is good. Which is awesome, I should say. And um, yeah, let's get some archery ranges. And then we need to go ahead and get some um, freaking barracks as well. All right, so yeah, Barkshire is gonna be a hard one to snipe. Let's like run all the way to the back. See what we can find. Um, soon we'll be able to get like full armies. Yeah, I'm at 158 eco right now. Pretty balls deep on the eco. Is there any wood left on the map? There, okay, there is some in the middle. Nice, nice, we found some, uh, some wood notes here. And we also found some uh, lumber villagers down by the middle sacred site that I'm going to go hammer because they're probably hurting as well on these resources. And um, let's go ahead and set up a keep here to make it a little bit harder for them to push us. They don't have Japan, but I mean, they do have, you know, the other powerful stuff, right? Cool. So we should be able to gather up an army soon, Nanny, and we can we control from there. Let's keep running down this way just to occupy their micro. We'll gather up and we'll do another doom push and we should be able to get him once once the waves of reinforcements arrive. But my eco is like too fat. It's way too fat. Alright, so these men at arms should be able to take these bad boys down. England's uh, mustering a good force. We should consolidate here. Let's consolidate our armies, and then we might need to turn and fight. I don't know if we can take him here. It's a lot of hand cannon here. So. Aye, aye, aye. England's scary, man. England prevails. Alright. Little gatehouse there. It's very cute. Hand cannoneers and goodies. Let's get you guys to do this. And panic build that. Um, a lot of that's going down. We have some wood now, so we can get some uh, cavalry back. All right. Yeah, so we got all those guys, which is outstanding. And um, hopefully these horsemen don't attack us here. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. 15 bills. We can delete those. And you guys can now start spamming out some rams here to uh, flank. So we're going to do a little flankaroo right there. All right. We can attack out. Oh, let's gather our troops first, Nanny, before we push. They actually have a good army here now. So we want to uh, get a critical mass. All right, yeah, so that was good. We got a little Ramstein split pushing soon to be on the way. Yeah, we need to get full mass. Or just defend in our, our territory, right? Um, all right, let's get the hand cannoneers. Yeah, bonk them on the head with some bank and fire. Ooh, that was good damage right there. Nice. Yeah, we might actually be able to counter push in here. That's going to be some good damage. Oh, missed there, unfortunately. So now we're kind of like back online in some ways. Ooh, man, their hand cannoneers just got pan pancaked right there. And um, let's go ahead and start swarming this way. All right, so we need to run the Miracle Mile to get this one. So let's focus on this. Uh, uh. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God, we're not going to get it. Get some ground, get some ground. Get out of the cannon range. Oh, yeah, buddy, we got it. All right, so let's get this over here and just run this into that. Okay, let's go down there. U20 have purged all the wood that's possible here. Is there any wood lines left? There's a little bit here. Oof, this is di this is dodgy. All right, so we're going to start ram pushing from the side also while pushing um, with the frontal army here. Okay. And um, do we have any wood around? No. I know there's another relic laying there, but that is a purple gatehouse, and I can't get past those towers. Um, there is some are some straggler trees up here, which we can actually hit. And the split push is going well here, which is great. 
I don't know how well we're going to get in here. Um, let's actually, Nanny, let's attack here. And we can go into the auto base. We can hit auto. Autos are the carries anyways. Okay. Cute Kitty's losing landmarks. And, I mean, we're both basically back online. <laughs> and fake HRE. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. That's, he's getting a little salty, maybe. I'm not sure. Alright. So, straggler trees are going down. Uh, what they might not realize is I have... Let's see. So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven relics. I didn't have the seventh one until just now. Yeah, if we go for sacred, they just die. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. So let's do this. And um, we got the ram still pushing around, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we need to keep this going. Contende says, I'll take that if it means not facing 25 bombards. Oh my god. He's, he's, he's using the Donald Trump tactics, calling me fake news. All right, <laughs> so we'll keep pushing those out. I need to find wood, dude. Yeah, I see that. Let's make make sure we kill them first. Oh, yeah, I can wall it. Okay, so is there any trees around here? There's a couple stragglers here. You guys just get these trees. Every little bit matters. Oh, wait, there's a shit ton of trees over here. Holy shit, okay. Hold up. Hold up. I just found Shangri-La, dude. Alright, let's move into the auto base. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Let's go get those goodies. Okay, so the Ottoman base is going to fall shortly. We should probably... Oh, do we want to kill the English while they kill the Ottomans? The English player is going to be such a pain to kill. Maybe we get Ing while they 2v1 Kitty. Yeah, I think that's the better play. I think that is the better play. Okay. Let's get rid of the crappy units just to make sure only the Bombards pop out. Let's leave you. Okay, it didn't seem to want to work that time. <laughs> the supposed number of relics keeps increasing each time. <laughs> yeah, I do love that. It's pretty funny. Okay, let's turn you in. Bombo on the way. Yeah, because if we 2v1 this player, then it's... um. It's going to be stronger, I think. Oh, it looks like shit. We had some rams over here. All right, I'm going to come for Barkshire with you. Yeah, I got I got an army coming over to Barkshire. Um, stone is, is still super expensive, so maybe the price just hasn't come down from the earlier party. Uh, get your Fire Lancers. Yeah, you're going to need like 200 sack of Fire Lancers probably. Okay, let's take these guys down. We got the Siege on the way. Great. So once Barkshire falls, we can probably collapse the rest of them. Yeah, we need to get that wall down there too. <laughs> Take the Barkshire down. Revenge! <laughs> this is a, a, a long, a long needed revenge. Because the thing is, if we don't kill the English and, and the other team kills Cute Kitty, then they might not finish off the English player, which is another threat we would have to face. So I think this is the play. Alright, so let's get the White Tower now. I'm going to send one of you over to start clearing this out. So we got, yeah, two sacred sites fully walled in. You are a Chad. He's been playing great this game, man. Okay, where do we go from here? Let's do that. And yeah, just harry all the eco. Kill all the landmarks. And Nanny and I are basically back online. Like, it, we we managed to... Nanny's politics saved us. <laughs> I think the... 
You're thinking of Japan. Yeah, you're thinking of Japan, buddy. That's, uh, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna go clear the, uh, the other sacred. Yeah, I'm gonna send some units down there to clear it with you. Meanwhile, we gotta, we gotta finish these guys off. Blue is here too, so cute kitty. Yeah, you just fire lancer the rest of their stuff. And, um, cool. Okay, so what other landmarks do we need to get? Are they gone? Yeah, cute kitty's gone, and they're both gone. So size building a wonder, but we have the sacred, so. Alright. I'm gonna get all my prelates down to the sacred site, and we just hold on that, and just, that's our plan. So. Yeah, I got all my prelates running down there right now. Sai's so got the wonder coming up. They've been preparing. It's a little bit of a tricky spot to hold. Could you build a wall here? A wall here for reinforcements. Okay. And now we need to build um, infrastructure all over the place here. So we're going to build a bunch back here. Okay, and then we can do siege workshops. Sai's so got the wonder. I got the religious homies on the way down. Aachen is, um, we want to keep you in Aachen probably. And, um, cool. So, unfortunately, yeah, a little bit tight on the, we can destroy these and get some proper walls. We should be there soon. Okay. Friar Chuck is very close. And then we just need to hold the sacreds, which is, um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard. The, the sooner we get it, the better, though. And my monk's, like, right next to it. Yeah, I see him. Good call. All right, so attack. And um, do we do, delete food eco now? I think we delete a lot of food eco, to be honest. And we delete all this food eco, too. We just keep some. Hopefully they don't see this guy. I need a micro in case they're watching. Okay, so the sacred's being captured. I have a second monk here as well. If they get both of them, that's going to feel pretty bad. Okay, I'm pretty close to getting it, but I do have a second one in reserve. You guys go there. Come on, give it to me, precious. Okay, knights, and we have a bombard cannon. Oh man, hopefully they don't get through those walls before I capture it. Ooh, it's dodgy. That's a big samurai army. All right, so we got reinforcements coming. Unfortunately, my supply lines aren't the best, but we need to we need to just win this fight somehow. But I don't know if we can. I don't know about Nanny's reinforcements. Nesta bees are on the way over. I could pull some bills onto the sacred to buy a little bit of time. Ay ay ay. Yeah, they're decapping right now. We still have a little bit of time to win this back. Not too much, but a little bit. A little bit of time. Okay, so I got a big army on the way. They're taking keep damage. Um, we have some time. But it's going to be tight after this. It's going to be very tight. Okay, let's get this. And then we have to find a way to stop the wonder, which is not going to be easy. Yeah, I got to keep there. Still hanging in there, but man, oh man. Their supply lines are better. I think they have production right below our sacred site. So that's really tough. Um, no emergency repairs on this either. I think they might have it. Where's the wonder? Yeah, it's bottom corner, fully entrenched. I don't think we're even going to be able to push them, dude. Because they never had to rebuild. We did, unfortunately. Okay, so we got some reinforcements. Um, they also have a fair amount of troopers coming back. Let's repair that, see if we can salvage it. Nope, not going to happen. All right, so let's get you guys back over here. How long do we have? 12 minutes? Okay, so we got like one decent chance here to, um, to try and fight them off. Yeah, let's get you guys coming over here as well. This is our this is our moment. Um, I need to get prelates coming out. Prelates and uh, prelates. Yeah, so we need to get prelates and prelates and prelates coming over there. Because not only do we need to do this, but we have to capture it too. I think they got us, but it was a very good attempt. Very good attempt. We were on the brink of death, you know. And, um, some good politics saved our butt. 11 minutes and 44 seconds. 11.44. Okay, Nesta Bees is doing work. We have some towers there. This one was always going to be the more vulnerable one, for sure. 11.33. Out of resources. Yeah, we're, we're, we're you know, playing, playing in dire straits here. Um, I can give you some food, so let's do this. We'll send something. Uh, uh, whatever we got. 
Because I was I was able to rebuild easier than poor Nanny because um, I've I've relics and stuff and HRE. All right, so where is Friar Chuck? Yeah, we got double Friar Chuck. He's coming. He's gonna mission impossible for this relic. Uh, let's get a tower here and just try and set up a cannon emplacement. Ay yeah yeah yeah. It's it's my poor allies out of resources by no fault of their own. Just um you know how the how how it swung. I don't think we're gonna be able to knock him off. GG's man. This was a good game though. Really good match. Really really good match. All right, let's get a couple of you guys to come dive this. Is there any chance we could do it? Um. Start scheming uh, sneaky attacks. Yeah, that's our only chance here, really. So we're going to go down here and see what we can find. Um, let's get you guys. Go down this way and this way. It took them so long to beat that Ottoman player 2v1. Cute Kitty is a really good player, though. Like, really, really good. So, clearly that was, uh, that was the case. So, the Sacreds aren't going to happen. They punched into two of them. So we need to get real cheeky now and, of course, keep this fight going towards the wonder, but, um, yeah, also do other things. Also, you know, sneaky sneak attacks and all sorts of goodness like this. Let's get some rams going and um, now we got, what, nine minutes left? Ay, 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 that's going to be a tough, tough push, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's pull back, gather up, and um, you guys do this and... Um, Let's come down here and then see what's going on. See how far down we can get there. Would for sure be the play. All right, boys, keep it fighting. Keep that rumble going. Recap the sacred site. They did. Uh, they had keeps there too. Jesus. Yeah, the odds of us holding this were pretty freaking low. Um, food is starting to diminish too. I need to get a prelate back in there to get the forty percent. All right, how far can we go here? That's the question. He said this is how it should be. Yeah, we're still beat up from that earlier fight, man. We're still beat up from it. Okay, are we being split pushed or something? Oh, there's just like a random ass ram in our base. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. All right, let's turn back here. Yeah, I see it. No worries. No worries, Nanny. All right, let's keep it. Keep this party going. That's that's all we really got is like some sort of a gimmick like this. You know, that's all we really got. The Great Bombard just wants to be your friend. Oh my god. No, I'm not accepting the Great Bombard. He's, he's like the least friendly dude ever. Alright, so let's see how far past them we can run into the base. That's always a good idea. And I gotta keep the pressure on. I can't afford to let these guys chill. And, um, alright, down here, um, we're gonna have to do like a sneaky trebuchet push or something. So we'll do one ram first. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I guess we're attacking archers and stuff. Yeah, it's 2v1 here. Shit. There are some hand cannoneers coming. Should probably pull back and gather with what Nanny has. Alright, so let's uh, creep up and get a little tower going. See how far we can possibly get. The problem is, even if we succeed, um, we're going to be in a little bit of drama here. And it looks like there's a bombard cannon coming in from Contende. Some horsemen can get that as well. So let's have them ride that down. Good little scrap in here. Okay, so we see the periphery. So now we need to do the most forbidden tactic of all time. Yes, it is exactly what you guys think it is. Well, we keep, uh, I think as the people in our community say, denting off with them. An expression I'm learning. All right, let's uh, go hit this with these guys. And um, yeah, thankfully the keep is going to be salvaged. Okay. Yeah, we don't know what that looks like. Let's, like, poke on this wall. Hopefully they won't notice it. Yeah, the only way we're going to win is with, like, subterfuge, subterfuge and, like, haggard tricks. There's no other way we're going to win this. Um, all right, so did we get the prelate back in there? We did not. Okay, let's get you guys geared back on that. Still burning down. And let's build some rams here. The Duhast must commence. Uh-huh. And yeah, oh, we're not going to get that back. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little sneaky sneaky. Okay. They might not have noticed that because it's very subtle. It's very subtle. <laughs> oh, man. Holy shit. This is going to be funny if it works. The problem is I don't know how we beat them afterwards because they've had so much more wealth for so long. 
All right. Uh oh. The boy is watching. Oh. Flee. Flee the city. Come on, flee it. Set up those walls. Uh. <laughs> Just the absolute jank, dude. Okay, he was watching. I was hoping he was tired. It was like late at night. You know, he might not see. Okay, it looks like they're leaving now. And we're going to get a little like wall off here. It was maybe they think it was just the one ram there that was chilling, right? Oh god, our eco sucks so freaking bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Get out of here, dude. Don't don't worry about it. There's nothing nothing you need to worry about here. Getting to that wonder is gonna be so hard. Okay, let's get some rams in the front. How long do we have? Five minutes left? Build ships? Yeah, I mean, we can't really get ships, no. Yeah, I mean, can we sneak? Uh, yeah, we could do a little sneaky sneaky here, maybe. Yeah, I see this. Okay. <laughs> all right, man. I wonder how far back it goes. It clearly doesn't go all the way to the Wonder, but it, it definitely gets us some terrain. So Nanny's up to no good, which I love. Um, I'm going to hit the front again once I get some rams here. Let's build a ram there. Transport ship. Shit, that's going down. Okay, so let's get these. Oh, how did you know they were there? <laughs> how did you know? Oh, he didn't know, I guess. I was like, no. Oh, God, dude. Get the wall secured. Hide the memes. Okay, he managed to fit through the wall, which is unfortunate. Let's go get a transport ship right here. Just have it hang out. And um, we're going to come down here and attack with our army, actually. I think that's going to be our best bet. This is like our only chance. It's like one gimmick. <laughs> oh, the rockets. Oh, it feels bad. Okay, so we need to get these villagers down here to try for round 10. He's got some guys on gold. Okay. So I'm going to try and just weasel it down here somehow. Own a and Samurai. Nanny's trying their own schemes, which I absolutely love. We have the Dread Legion still. We have a boat. Oh, man. Memes will stay dreams, most likely so. I'm just, like, building these walls up a little bit. Okay. If I had two more minutes, I don't know. They're pretty They're pretty on point here. They're paying attention. Okay, so let's get you guys down here. And um, let's get these horsemen and knights to head over to shut down this gold. We got, what, three minutes left? Jeez. He's got... He's <laughs> Look, he's landing on the walls. <laughs> he's got a siege tower. That's so good. Okay. So where's the big Chungus army? It's coming here. Okay. So we need to get you guys, you guys, and just some knights down there. Let's just be big and thick. And we should have a lot of ills on the way down. Yeah, here they come. Great. And um, what we can do is wall this so we can't be flanked here. And then we just b fight this army. Shit, I don't even know if we can beat this like one army here. So it is a lot of trash units. I have a Smeagol plan. Yeah, I see that. We both, we're both we both trying the Haggard plans. We'll see if it works for either of us. Okay, I'm officially out of food now. I got all these trebuchets, but unfortunately I'm just straight up losing to this Japanese army here. Samurai OP! Samurai are really freaking good, dude. They're definitely, they definitely make the HRE a little sad about their unmounted arms. Oh man, those reinforcements are coming from so far away. I just don't have the wood to build infrastructure. Hmm, how can I get past this army? Oh, yeah, they just punished me, dude. Um, so what do we got? Two minutes left? I don't think these things could even make it to the Wonder in two minutes. And our boat was killed also. It was, it, it paid the ultimate price. Could we beeline through here? Like, try something there? Maybe. Okay, let's actually try this. So you guys come down the front. Attack here. Uh, the trebuchets are going to have to do some jankiness through here. So stop that. And then you go through here. Yes. Can we not fit there? 
Okay, maybe we can squeeze through there. Got, oh, that's why, because, yeah, his reinforcements, he's got some towers here. They're actually hurting our units. Oh, and he just magically appears there. Shit. Okay. A lot of horsemen. Maybe he saw the, the trebs. Okay, we're going to try and fight him off. We have him in a choke point, so I don't think they can get through, actually, which is kind of funny. All right. Um. Yeah, and he's got walls there. Attackers. Let's go here. You making any ground? Let's just, like, rush for the wonder. We got Fire Lancers getting through? No Fire Lancers. I think they got it, boys. We tried the Haggard Rat Tricks, but the Rat Tricks were detected. And, uh, you know, it just, just wasn't meant to be. Even still, if we succeeded, they still would have killed us. Um, so I'm not too broken up about it. Because we can't beat them, I don't think. Torch the walls! You guys run for it. Okay, how far can we get? Can we get to the wonder? 34 seconds? Not gonna happen. Uh, GG well played, lads. Good game. And happy birthday, Nanny. That's, that's gonna be it. It was a good attempt. We almost scrapped our way back, but Contende and uh, Sai were, were too beast mode for us to uh, take down there. Uh, what we did, we did what we could. That's right. That's right. We did what we could. I am genuinely curious how close we were to the wonder. Like, could we have gotten the wonder or held? I don't think so. I think the delete was the right play. Sacred was your best bet. It was, but they were too strong. They were ahead of us. They were much richer, better banks. Hey, Smeagol, why aren't you playing, dude? Where the hell have you been? Got to get it. Got to get you back in these games. So how long have we been going? Thanks for the game. Well played. Well played. It took, it took many of us to drag down the, the feared Ottomans. <laughs> oh my god. They were terrifying. They, like, when we tried to wonder and they rolled up with like like 15 of those things? Jesus. Yeah. Are you going to play one more? Um, Let's see what time it is. Now, probably that's going to be it for tonight. That was almost, you know, four and a half hours. Uh, plus, I'm streaming Age again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Gunhound's birthday. So we're going to probably do something for that. Uh, which will be a really, really fun. So I appreciate all of you guys, man. Thank you for your donations and support. Helps keep the old age engine rolling. If you guys enjoyed the stream, before you leave, do drop a like on the way out. Happy birthday to Nanny. And uh, again, Gunhound party tomorrow. So we'll be back with a little bit more age manana. Yeah, no, this isn't going to happen. Yeah, you can see the keeps. I mean, maybe if I get a treb landing, so I land right here and then his keeps kill me. So even if we get, uh, I'm not sure day girl. I have to see what time Gunhound wants to do it. Because he's got work and stuff. Yeah, so even the trebuchet landing wouldn't have worked. He's, he's too well defended. He's got like walls here. He's got double Japanese keeps that shoot rockets and can almost one-shot my um, trebs. So, so I was doing a... Oh man, look at the trade. They had cross map too, 141. Yeah, Our chance was the sacreds. That was our play. That was our play there. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. GG well played. See you next time. Adios, Dovizenia, and Sigmar Bless this ravaged body.